Hey, <laughs> want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? I said I'm trying. I'm not good at it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> My ink, that cheeseburger is eyeing me up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be watching this table HMH and it's podcast. fucking destroyed. <laughs> Fuck this table, dude. <laughs> almost got ruined by a Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> we almost ruined a Corolla. What bitch? You looking for trouble, motherfucker? <laughs> Such a good song. Who'd be singing in my keyboard? Welcome to another episode of HMHD Heavy Music Heavy Dads, episode 18. We are legal now. Yeah! <laughs> that's the best one I've ever done. Yeah, I, that one the, is good. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm ready mm-hmm. to do this. I also, I do need a beer though. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> and I got what you need. So, uh, going through my storage unit today. <laughs> I uh, realized that uh, I had a bunch of old toys and stuff like that. That, uh... Anyways, so without further ado, <laughs> I found this that I forgot about. Uh, and this is... Uh, <laughs> it's so stupid. Let's see if you can see it. It's so awesome. This is though. a Chuck Norris <laughs> Karate Commandos Karate Corvette vehicle. Um, and it came in this box. Obviously, the box is fucked. But... <laughs> I love it so much. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Oh, my God. Uh, so. <laughs> you going to describe it now? <laughs> yeah. So when uh, you press the the front. Oh, wait. This is supposed to go down. Hold on. This. Karate. <laughs> karate. And then. Uh, and then that those shoot out. And then um, the back says. Jeez. Karate. This is a karate Corvette. So, and then the tail or whatever, that's like some sort of launching device. Um, and then this was in there too. I don't know where this goes in relation to anything else. Dude, that's the gold doubloon. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you sound just like that toy expert on Pawn Stars. <laughs> uh, oh, this is how you will be receiving. All right, good. Jeff Bezos, fucking watch out, bro. You don't know shit about karate. Make sure you return it back to me oh, yeah. for that for next time. <laughs> that ass. It's, it's yeah. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, you actually had some pretty cool shit in your uh, storage unit. Just, that, like just old toys, like old Bart Simpson shit. Yeah. I, yeah. Some of, I, you know, I'm a sucker for shit like that because I'm like you where I don't like throwing shit away. But the thing is, is I've never had cool shit. Mm. Like, I, so... Just to kind of bring it up, like, so we, we you always make fun of me about how I don't ever save band shirts and shit like that. Right. I wish I did, but I was never, like, that much into it. And even when I was in a band, like, right now, I don't even have any physical copies of any of my band's recordings. They're all on the internet, and I have to, like, save them again, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wish I was more like that, but I'm also, like, the kind of person where I'm not afraid to just let things go. Yeah, it's so hard and, for me. It, 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 but I do have, okay, so any poster, like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> like in my pockets are pogs because I'm like, oh man, these mm. fell out of my pog uh, binder. <laughs> so I got fucking pogs. You got a pog binder. Oh, and and then this uh, that come with a wedgie. Yeah, I found mm. you know history of monsters. Uh, Danger Scout. This was a really good one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Super badass. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I don't remember what it was. That you don't really save it. Oh, uh, your- yeah, yeah. But so like, okay. So you know that post. You know that poster of Albert Einstein I have in my garage. Mm-hmm. I've had that poster since I started Massive. That poster follows me in every single workshop environment that I go to. Yeah. Just for some reason, it's sentimental to me. The quote on it's cool. I like it. Same thing with a lot of the, the other little doodads. Like, so there are certain things that I do find sen- super sentimental. Mm-hmm. But I'm also like, I also just have no problem just saying. What is this? And throwing it away. You were proud of me today. You were. You did good. Uh, yeah, because I'm, also I'm think, very bad. I, but I, I will say this, and I tell me if I'm wrong, and I think I'm right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That if you were just in there by yourself, and you had the whole day to yourself to sort through all that shit, 
and we didn't have a time frame for mm-hmm. doing this, you probably would have kept a lot more shit. Oh, see, I was going to say maybe there would have been less because I know there's junk in those boxes. Well, yeah, for sure. But I, I, but I think if you had time to sort through <laughs> it, because that's what they say on all those shows, like, like if it takes you, if you have to think about it for more than five seconds, then uh, you have to yeah. get rid of it. You know what I mean? I don't well, know. There's a giant black trash bag of just old shirts. I think I'd be black, bro. Which I am going to go through after this episode. <laughs> But the is first that, is shirt, that the one that smells like farts. Yeah. <laughs> well, I farted right when I grabbed that. Toasty. <laughs> but the first shirt I grabbed out of it was a muscle for hire, like my first band. Like spray nah, painted. That's cool. Yeah. I, I wish I would have kept stuff like that. I mean, I remember on a hard drive I used to have, I had all these designs of like shirts that I did for like I Am Divide and stuff like that. And I don't have them anymore. Mm. And I remember for Brandy did it for me for like, uh, I guess it was an anniversary present. I can't remember if it's my birthday or for anniversary present, but she actually reached out to like certain people that have known me for a long time. Yeah. Like, do you have any like flyers? That's where like that I Am Divide, Thick mm-hmm. as Blood, you know, show flyer came from and all that. Like, I was like, man, people keep these shit. Like, I don't know if you know Felicia Adams, Mm-mm. but she's been like, she was like our band mom for like the longest time. She's really good friends with David, the mm. drummer. And, I've known her forever, and she's always been like that. She would always have her camera. She had pictures of every band, That's awesome. like, everywhere. And she had a lot of cool stuff. I know Nancy keeps a lot of cool stuff. Maybe women are better at it. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but I can just, like, be like, meh. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I did all that stuff. Like, Brandy gets mad at me. Like, all the, not mad at me, but she gets upset. Like, we'll be watching a show, and, like, it'll be like, oh, well, this is Sedona, Arizona. I'll be like, oh, I've been there. And she's like, yeah, we don't, what, of course, you've been everywhere. And I'm like, I don't even think about it. Like, yeah, I've been there. It was awesome. I'm just like, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, yeah, I lived in New York for five years. Yeah, you know, I did this. You're different. Yeah. You're a different person. Oh, I hate myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, one I, of the, you're one of those. I'm just one of the, I'm just one of the Dos Amigos, man. <laughs> <laughs> I almost put my beer out. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> It's a haunted uh, boom stand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So before I get into something, okay. I do have something. Do you have a story? Do you have, do you have a story? <sighs> um, honestly, man, I got nothing to tell other than I want to pile drive everybody at work. Yeah. It's just a super stressful time right now. I think I've mentioned it before. Like we're literally 60 years of experience for getting ready to retire. Mm. And like a lot of it's falling on me. Like, and I've only been there for a couple of years and I'm okay with it. I'm confident, but it's like the rest of the people. There's there's some people that are really wanting to be there and do it, and there's some people that are just like, and it's just fucking hard, dude. It's like, yeah. if you ever had to like go behind somebody that like fucked up a job, and you're just like, why am I going behind this guy? Mm-hmm. For sure. And it's just frustrating, man. It's like it sucks because it's like, not only is the is the sleep hard. You know, the schedule is super hard to deal with. I mean, although like, I'm not going to bitch about my job and say it's anything physically demanding or anything like that, but dude, going to bed at 12 in the noon and in in, during the day is hard, dude. It doesn't work. Like, yeah. and you have to force yourself to sleep, but then you also have a three-year-old and you know, you just spend time with your wife and it's like, fuck dude. It's like, I, tr- I want to fill everything in and you know, Brandy's it been- It sounds like you're burning the candle at both ends. I have to, man. And you don't have to. Well- But that's what's happening. Well, but at the same time, it's like we have people calling out of work and I have to cover for them and shit like that. And it's like, I can't, I don't want to turn down the overtime because, you know, extra money is good, but, you know, but it's just hard, dude. You know, I just try to fit everything in and, you know, thankfully, you know, Brandy has been getting super used to it. Like, not that it's a good thing to get used to, but like she's understanding of it. Like we, when we, when I first got the job and I had to do overnights and shit, it was, it was a struggle. Yeah. But now we kind of got in a groove. I mean, obviously Autumn's a little older, so it's a little easier, you know. Mm-hmm. that kind of stuff but man it's just hard dude and i try and it's like i feel bad because like i karate Beep. <laughs> you're not <laughs> you're not reversing um i don't know but it's just I, nothing really funny going on um i yelled at a guy at mcdonald's this morning i did that did happen yeah what happened was he talking to some guy about a harley <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, <laughs> rode my bike to uh, my hair appointment. This oh, that's morning. right. You were off. I keep forgetting you're off today. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so I, I was sitting inside of a McDonald's, which I I didn't think anyone does anymore. But um, is that what like perverts do? What was that? <laughs> is that like what perverts do? Oh, I heard something completely different. What did you think I said? 
I said pervert. Oh, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just, why'd you go inside? Because I was on my bike. I guess I didn't need to eat something. You didn't and, like James Dean sit under a tree, like put your legs up on the handlebars and like eat an egg McMuffin? I did not. No. <laughs> and so like, uh, I guess we were busy. And uh, <laughs> you know, like when you go to a drive through and you're like, oh, can you pull up into that spot? Your thing will be on a walk. Was it the there. one on 95 and 520? No, there's oh. the one in Palm Bay. It's in Hampton. Oh, there. that's right near the yeah near the barber. So, um, <laughs> so I'm sitting aside, and this guy like walks in, and he's like yelling at the employees. He's like, "I've been waiting for thirty oh, fucking a customer. Minutes. Yeah, yeah he's okay. yelling at the employees. <laughs> you told me to pull up in there. I've been seeing all these fucking cars. Blah blah blah. And like, I get it. Definitely frustrating. But people make mistakes, you know. Like, and then he's just like, just really being a like a prick about it and just be like this isn't fucking because that always makes them go faster yeah i don't know if you know this that. isn't brain surgery just fucking put a sandwich <laughs> in a bag and whatever and um uh the guy like walks out he's like i'm late for work you fucking ruin my whole day blah 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 and and the guy walks out and i was finishing up so i was like that dude's a dick and then i walk outside and he is telling the people that are in the drive-thru like how bad everything is going. Just shut up and go home. Like, just go away. Yeah. Like, you're, you're such a statistic to them. Like, they don't even... Dude, McDonald's doesn't even miss you, bro. No, it's just another thing. Like, McDonald's can give you back all the money that you've spent at McDonald's in your entire existence, and it wouldn't even make them move. Yeah. Like, they don't, they don't care about it. So I was just, just like, <laughs> hey, asshole, if you're so late for fucking work, why don't you fucking leave? <laughs> 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 anything. But, uh, yeah. That actually reminds me of... That. It actually reminds me of a really funny story. Um, so it, it, I like to be, I always like to be a smart ass hmm. at all times. I can't help it. It's just who I am. I'm an asshole. I like to do that, but I'm usually just joking around. Same. So I remember this one time I was in Walmart and I'm going through the, I call it the hellhole lane because it's like the one we have to like idle because everybody's crossing, you know? Okay. So like, I'm trying my best to like go through and get through everything. And this guy behind me is like, just like that same kind of dude that's just like fucking mad that I'm going so slow. And like, this old lady's crossing the street, bro. What do you want me to run him over? Yes. You know? <laughs> oh, <okay>, yeah. <laughs> so, so he's like mad. I can see him huffing and puffing. He probably had street glow lights, but it was daytime. So I don't gotcha. know for sure. So I pull into the, to the space. And like he pulls up next to me and he's like fucking cursing. I mean, like the same thing. He's like, I'm fucking late. I got shit to do today, blah, blah, blah. And I go, you should have left your house earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and like he just looked at me and then, what do you say back to that? Yeah. I was just like, you should have left earlier. And he's just like, help me don't buy ice cream. Like, like what do you, I says, but he's so, he doesn't know what to say back to that. Yeah. He just drove away, yeah. huffed and puffed and drove away. I'm like, all right, well. I'm I get it. I'm an asshole too, but sometimes <laughs> it's just like. No, I get, I, I'm like that too, where I'm just like, you just have to be that guy that's like, shut the fuck up, yeah. dude. Just yeah. shut up, dude. Like nobody cares about you. These people in your line are not even your problem. And you know what? Those people, and as much as I, you know, everybody loves to talk smack about like, you know, drive through workers and all that shit. It's like, dude, they're working. They're not sitting still. You know, they're yeah, trying. Yeah. They're trying to do what they're doing. They and, were busy. You know, like. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I've had, I've worked in, you know, food industry and shit like that when I was younger. And dude, when you're busy, it's, it's hard. Like you're in the weeds. Yeah. Some people are better than others. I personally work better in stress situations. I like high volume, like high. It's, yeah. I can handle it. Some people can't. That's fine. I, I totally get that. But it's like, you know what? You know, it's not helping mm. because it, in a way, like, and again, I understand like the whole joke about like fast food employees out there and all that shit. But it's like, like, you know what you're doing by doing what you're doing, man? You're making it worse for the guy behind you. So you're just creating the same problem you just yeah. experienced. So you're just making it worse. It's like, and, oh man, anytime I see somebody like in a traffic situation, like, uh, like a, like a, you know, slow traffic or high congestion and somebody just like riding on the shoulder. Oh, like, I, I, I want to, I want to, oh dude, I'm, I pull there and so that they can't get around. Me and Brandy, I did that when we, when I took Brandy to go see turnover in Tampa. Yeah. I for like getting from like 528 to I like, is the worst, dude, getting dude. on 524 to like, uh, I'm 528 to I4. Yeah. Fuck, like people were doing that, and I go, fuck this. And I, and because I know what it's making, and I know it's going slow, and I don't care because I'm going to get there no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did that. I poked my nose out. Yeah. And then <laughs> it's caught the back up on the yeah. shoulder. And I'm just like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Because fuck you. Not in a lane. I love boxing people in too. Yeah. Like <laughs> when they're trying to pass you on the highway. <laughs> I like throwing rocks at cars, dude. Dude, I actually, <laughs> oh, I didn't, oh, I can't believe I forgot that I told you the story. <laughs> did I tell you I threw a handful of pennies at a car the other day? 
No, bro. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about this story. So I'm at the I'm at the light. <laughs> okay, so I'm literally at one of the busiest intersections in our in our town. Okay, for anybody that's local, it was the uh, 520 US one. Yeah. I was heading. I was heading uh, west. west. Okay, and you know there's those two lanes that go can turn left onto US one. And this guy was like trying to pass me. So like I'm in the left lane going straight to go past US one. This guy, dude, he had the red arrow and had the green. He didn't even flinch and he just merged like and like pushed me to the side. It just kept going straight on fucking 520. Uh, I grabbed a whole handful of fucking change and I just fucking threw it out. <laughs> Dude, I and I, was, dude, I was, I was, fall, I was so fucking mad, and like that was the moment where I was like, dude, this is road rage. But I was like, I was so mad at the audacity. It's like, <laughs> bro, you literally could have not just killed me, but you just cut through traffic. Like you could have killed people, man. It's like I think Joe John Mulaney or no Louis C.K. or whatever. It's like, sorry, I need that. I gotta go. <laughs> like, yeah, gotta, but it, it, oh my god, <laughs> but it just it enraged me so bad. It's like, dude, you could have. One, scratch my truck. Two, yeah. you could have killed me. You could have killed somebody else. Uh, I didn't see you turning in. And he just like without a didn't even flinch. That's just, absurd. Just, and I was like, well, no, you got fucking penny dings all over your fucking paint. I hope that dude dies. Uh, he's probably dead already the way he fucking drives. <laughs> God damn it. Also, f favorite Louis C.K. joke he just been is like, he's like, you know, when you get older, your butthole is like an open bag of leaves in the yard. It's like no matter what, you fill the bag, but a little bit's always going to come out. <laughs> anyway. That's, that's me right now. Yeah! <laughs> so I got something cool. Uh, All right, we're doing music now. Cool. Uh, well, I got a little story, and then we'll right. get yeah, into music. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah. You know, I love talking. It's fine. And it's funny, uh, <laughs> you mentioned her earlier. So we had this follower that... Um, oh, yeah. Follow, What's like, her I, name? Uh, her name's Jennifer. The, that's, Jenny that, that's Jennifer. The, that's the girl from Alaska, right? She's from Alaska. Yeah, that's awesome. So, I love first Alaska. of all, I've never been there. Very, uh, I have. Uh, really? Yeah, I went on a mission trip for a couple weeks. Yeah. Mm, so not the good way to go to Alaska. I don't know. <laughs> I went halibut fishing. I saw an, uh, I saw a glacier. Everything you thought your whole life was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I helped a school. The cool thing was this small town was so like small that uh, the school that we were staying in was their dog a mayor. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it was like I love that K twelve through like twelfth grade or whatever. Yeah, I usually am. And um, the graduating class got a boulder in front of the school that they can paint, and there was five boulders in front of that school. So I had a graduating class of five people. Oh, super small. Anyways, so she found us on TikTok. I guess really liked our stuff. Uh, I'm gonna call her our first like. Die hard. It's like, thank you, Jennifer. Uh, like, kind of like followed us on all our stuff. And um, so she sent me a message uh, a couple days ago. Really? Okay. Uh, and she said, okay, so some great music from my childhood almost 20 years ago. Oh, cool. Obviously, so this is our first listener request. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I like, dude, this, I feel cool now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I really do. She said, <laughs> obviously of the highest quality, dot, dot, dot. She's being so man means I'm gonna like it. <laughs> uh, two guys from this band are my cousins I grew up with, uh, and she named the bands. Um, this is the shit in small town Alaska, and then she gave me she gave me two bands. So we're gonna listen to two bands, all right, all right. but um, the second band's also from a small town uh, Alaska, also fucking rocked. The, the, the last the last line of this message almost made me cry. Uh, she says, "Roast away! I'm excited for you to listen." <laughs> yeah, well, I'm. So Jennifer, thank you for being fucking diehard. Um, hmm. Is it on? Is it, did she give links? Or so, is it on YouTube? So or? they are on YouTube. Okay. I think they're they're both live videos. Mm -hmm. uh, wh whatever. I don't um, care. What is it? Called? I don't care. So What's the first called? one is um, Alaskan Hush Puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does she know the Alaskan Bush people? Oh, those tards. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, she could be one. Um, no, she's not. The she first, looks like she could read. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, she wrote this message. It's I know. Great. She can already type. She's yeah, way better. Yeah, way better. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the first band is called Fallen Hero. Okay. And the song is called A Fire Burning in Her Eyes. And remember, yeah, Jennifer, I know these are your cousins, and this is 20 years ago, but you did say Roast Away. So. Well, it's already burning in her eyes. I mean. I, <laughs> I'm not going to purposely roast this. Oh, Scorpion, send me an angel. Okay. Okay, I guess. So, so you, this says 17 years ready, ago. Ready to go? Look at that, 6,000 6, views? God damn. Who's your, who's your account? That's all of Alaska right there. <clears throat> I will say this. I do love, and I'll put it up on the screen for everybody. Come on, you bastard. 
Oh great! Oh come on, hold on. You got the YouTube thing off. There you go. There it is. I don't. I don't know why the hotkeys aren't working. Hold on. No, I know why. It's fine. Anyway, I'll fix it and, and we take a break. Um, yeah, so you type in Fallen Hero, a f fire burning in our eyes, you get uh, the Scorpions, Maroon 5, and a lot of Maroon 5. Cool. Anyway, here's a, a fire burning inside, which is from Alaska. What? Wow, they look like children. Is the phone up here? Uh, <laughs> it's got a skull crossbow. I want to go home. Yeah. I live right there. Can I go it's home? <laughs> Kid sounds 12 years old, bro. Um, I already know what favorite their favorite band is. Hey, what a cool little video. You know what? I can't hear it that well, but I also don't hate it. No. I, it's a very local, nostalgic sound. The, the drummers of Semi are so oh my fucking God. high, dude. That's a, that's a giraffe, man. <laughs> He's like... No, but, but you know what's funny is I always listen to these videos, and I remember I brought up in the past that one video of that really bad Event Sevenfold cover. Remember? Yeah. But like... I'm listening to the drummer, and the drummer actually is, is in time and he's playing really well. I wish I could hear everything a little bit better. Yeah. The vocals actually doesn't sound bad for... No, I actually... For, I definitely know they're very into that metal core, which this is almost 15 years ago, so yeah. I mean, that definitely makes sense. Those symbols, man. Come on, bro. Like, I'm about to set off the fucking fire sprinklers. What the hell? <laughs> you hit hard enough. Don't get that drummer from Cell on there. <laughs> Give it to me. Okay, so this is very mid 2000s. He kill switch engage. Definitely Avenged Sevenfold. As they lay dying, you know, very much in that you know, that realm, you know, for sure. I actually don't think they're a bad band, even though it's a shit recording. I mean, I think they recorded with their butthole, but <laughs> either way. I'm jealous of this video. It looks like a cool video. You know, I miss being like 17 and like all your friends would come and like, no matter how bad your band sucked, they would still like push monster each other. Yeah. Like everybody would scuff up their checkered vans, you know? Look at that video camera. Look at that. Oh my god. Is it that's like the video camera you have to put the, the tiny cassette in the big the cassette. Mini DVDs, yeah. In the big cassette. No, no DVDs. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Alaska. Yeah. Uh, a track. <laughs> I kind of wish a polar bear was filming. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking moose. <laughs> you know what? Alright, but wanna play the next other yeah. one? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Oh god. Oh god. So Hockey. Honestly, not bad considering like the quality no, of the I, video. I mean, I can everything. just hear like the drummer. I understand what like sound they're going for. I and... want, if it's possible, it, 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 she says that's from. I don't know if it's from her town or from that's what, it's, what, it, what it may sound like. Well, yeah. maybe she knows them. <clears throat> I want it's her cousins. If she, oh well, then if you could reach out to them and see if they actually have like an actual recording, that would be really cool. Yeah. Because I, from what I hear, you know, obviously we're just making fun, we're having fun time, but. The drummer is on time. Everything's good. And obviously it's metal Corey, you know, from definitely from that era. It makes sense. But I would be curious because mm -hmm. I thought it was, I mean, from all the butthole recording. But also the age of the kids, like, yeah. very, very, very impressed. Um, yeah. What's the other one? The other one is uh, the Cold. band. <laughs> Cold. Is that what you said? <laughs> I was going to say Coca-Cola Bears. Coca-Cola but... <laughs> Bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the name of the band is called Strept. Oh, God. And the song is called Asterisk. Do you need help spelling it? No. I actually, it's just uh, Control uh, 8. <laughs> it's strept with a T, like a oh. strept. Okay. Uh, a S T E R I K. I don't know that's how you spell it, but well, whatever. Corn spelled, misspelled corn. There it is. Oh, boom. Right there. 17 years ago. Cool. All right. Here you go. Is it the same video? Oh. Let us all join 
Okay, alright, he's got his shirt off. I already hate it. <laughs> I already fucking hate it. <laughs> Sweet onion, teriyaki, cheddar, please, on Swiss, provolone, ham and cheddar, toasted, white lettuce, onion, tomato, Baja. <laughs> You're so good, you should write music. <laughs> yeah, I did that for a while. Those bell bottoms? Oh shit. Bobby Brady's breaking it down. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. They have 80 cymbal players. Goddamn Cloverfield! <laughs> Is this the Blair Witch Project? <laughs> Honestly, I can't hear anything going on. Is he wearing fingerless gloves? Please tell me he's wearing... No. Okay, that's a wristband. Jared in the front getting it fucking hard, dude. <laughs> fucking get it, Jared. <laughs> I drained my Hot Topic gift card to be here. <laughs> oh, all right. Was that Jared? That's not him screaming. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He has a discontinued. If I'm if I'm saying it correctly, he has a discontinued LTD. You can make out what he's playing. Yep. Oh, I'm looking at the headstock. No, it's a Schecter. Never mind. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it might not be. No, that's a Schecter. That's a Schecter. The uh, LTD had basically a guitar that was a uh, an MH body, but it had a three-on-three -three headstock. Bass sounds good. I can hear that. If you put any bass in my band, I'm going to kill you. Also, it looks like a pretty cool venue. When I hear something super judgy that I, I know instantly right away, is if you have a Marshall amp and the knobs are on the top of the head, it's a sucky amp. <laughs> they have to be on the bottom. I'm just being honest. Oh, no. I'm just being oh, honest. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Like you know how you have like the top knobs and then amp or amp. And then, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna show her friends this and we're gonna get hate mail. <laughs> Can polar bear spell? <laughs> Drummer sounds pretty decent. I would also think how hard it would. You could pause this. So, like. Thank God. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do nothing. <laughs> I. 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 I I would also think how hard it would be to try to find talent in a small town like that. Well, you know what I'm saying because the population. I would, I would, okay, that was actually what I was gonna ask her. At, you know, at the end of this, is where are these two bands from? Because I mean, if they're like in Anchorage or Juno, I mean, those are like the bigger cities. And I think that's it, though. Like, everything else is like, well, yeah, they're not in. Oh fuck, I, 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 I Barrow. They're not in Barrow, Alaska, where like a UPS package takes ten years to get there. Yeah. Um. By the way, I could live in Barrow. I could do it. I don't think like I could do it. It seems so depressing. I could do it. I know you. Could do it. <laughs> um, no. I, I'm such a people person. I'm like, <laughs> God, why? I, uh, it depends on what time of day I am. Yeah. Um, it depends what kind of what time no, of day you but, are. <laughs> I, uh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. I love the yeah button. Anyway, um, I'd be curious. Yeah. I'd be curious to to know where they actually are because you're right. There's not that many you know, places in Alaska where people, you know, typically live, live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, unless you're like, you're like an outdoors guy or something like that. Speaking of which, um, harp, I'm watching you, bro. Harp. She knows what it is. Um, yeah, I'd be curious. I mean, I don't think these bands are bad. I just can't hear anything. Yeah, so um, it, it's it's one of those things that like. But it's cool though. That's I mean, probably all they had. Oh, you know, and so they probably didn't record anything. I, I remember. I remember. Uh, well, they definitely didn't remember to bring shirts. I feel like shirtless in Alaska is a really good band name. Shirtless in Alaska. Yeah. What kind? What genre would that be? Dead. Dead genre. Norma Freeze. I don't know. 
What genre uh, would that be? I don't know. Um, probably somebody that would go on tour with Beartooth. Okay. I don't know. Well, Jennifer, thank you very much. Like, that was rad. Oh, like, honestly, like, one thing I wanted to do, I do want to oh. ask if she, I'm sure she's going to listen to this. I want to know how she found us. I'm so okay. curious to that because I know the, I mean, obviously the internet pages exist. I'm, I'm, I get it. I know how but you I, are with internet. But pages. I, but I, <laughs> no, but I mean, the, the shit that I find on the internet, like, I'm just like, wow, yeah. fucking, no. but I want to know how somebody from Alaska found this because we didn't, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Was it on TikTok? I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. <clears throat> Unless else she used to live in Melbourne, which I doubt it. Uh, well, maybe. I don't know. Or know somebody. From Melbourne to Juno. Yeah. That's another band name. Mm, Jesus Christ. They're going to go on tour the sleeping. Um, but <laughs> thanks a lot, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, that was actually cool. that's, really fucking that's awesome. First, uh, first, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the, like... Uh, oh. I remember reading that and I just got a little goosebumps. I'm like, that's cool. we are doing God's work. Uh, somebody's out there listening. More than that mission you did. Mm. <laughs> I changed a bunch of light bulbs, dude. Paint, paint this boulder. <laughs> uh, Healy, Alaska. That's where we Helium? Stayed. Healy, Alaska. Um, it was, it was cool. It was absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't do, I couldn't do the darkness. What the fuck? I'm trying to fucking talk over here. And, uh... <laughs> Thanks again, Jennifer. You know what? I can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> if you were listening to this and you want to give us your shitty local band, uh, send us some. Not that they, these bands were bad. Um, to the quality of it was just kind of shit. It just, but no I see what they're going for. The second band was kind of more like a Inner Shikari esque, like uh, you know what I'm saying. Like a there different. There was definitely a ton of bands that were like that around that time period. The first band sure. I definitely would have. Um, um, that was the first band, Fallen Hero. I definitely would have went and gotten seen locally. That would have yeah, been for a sure. Cool I mean, band I mean, before. especially if you have a small scene anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure like if, if they do have a small community, a lot of those bands. I feel like the genres would be really hard. Like like. You have ten bands, uh, and but two also, of them are hardcore. Yeah, well, well think <laughs> or about metal it. I mean, or whatever. But think about it. If you have, I mean, you have the same thirty people that you hang out with, you're probably all kind of, you know, recycling. It's not like here where we have, you know, one hundred fifty thousand people in, in my city, and then you yeah. drive thirty minutes south, and you have two hundred thousand people in that city. Yeah, you know that just have more. Florida, Florida is weird like that because, like, I mean, we have, we have. I don't know what the po population of fucking Alaska is, but we have 18 million people in Florida. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't even think 18 million people have been to Alaska. Dude, uh, <laughs> I know they'll pay you to live there. How much? <laughs> Forget them out. I have a wastewater license. <laughs> you would probably be valuable there. No, because they probably just poop in an outhouse. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you'll be, you, yeah. You'll <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's cool though. That's that's super awesome. That's um, it's kind of refreshing. That's awesome. Very cool and very good. If you were listening, <laughs> and very good and very good. If you were listening to this, there are seven hundred and thirty-two thousand people as of two twenty twenty-one living in Alaska. Wow. Um, is there, did he, is there even that many places to work up there? Unless you work for Harp. I don't know. Coming for you, Harp. I don't know, man. I see you controlling the weather. You know what's funny, though, about Alaska? <laughs> so when I went to Alaska, because you know in the map, right, mm -hmm. they show, like, the U.S., mm -hmm. and then they'll show Hawaii, and then they'll show Alaska. Mm -hmm. And while we were in Alaska, we were with, like, a mission group of, like, a bunch of people. And I was like, it's so crazy how cold it gets here when it's so close to Hawaii. <laughs> and people are like, I never thought about that. That's and, funny. like, literally people thought. That's, 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 that's funny. Yeah. But it's, like, so true. But if you actually look, like, at a, at a, at a globe, it's, like, Alaska's, like, <laughs> it's mm. fucking might as well be the north goddamn pole. Um, anyway. That's where Santa lives. Uh, um, yeah. And the Coca-Cola bears. Yeah. I'll say this one more time. If you're listening to this and you want us to... I, I like this route because I want to know local small bands. Yeah, it's cool. You know, it, it's kind of interesting, cool. you know, because, I mean, we all know, and, you know, it's funny. We were just talking about that uh, before we did this. We were talking about how a lot of, like, the people try to do, like, the trend hopper stuff, and they just kind of, you know, do the reaction videos to, like, new stuff and all that, which is fine. I don't, whatever. It doesn't matter. The clickbait shit, yeah. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> mm. But I, I don't want to do that because it's, everybody's going to hear that already. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, well, why not bring back? Because, like, um, I'm not doing all this to suck somebody's dick. I didn't do it for you. I didn't do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, no, but it's like, but at the same time, I mean, I also think, you know, people want to branch out sometimes. You know, it's like, you, like yeah, I, I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that, like, metal, hardcore, 
today has become a top 10 like hits playlist. I mean, it's not fun. I mean, Lorna anymore. Shore nominated for a Grammy or some shit like that. They're no, playing. They didn't. Yeah, they um they're playing like Lala po- God, what? Lala blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> B- banana peppers. Stop, you're ruining the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me or the post? I don't know, man. I can't have figured know. it out. Anyway, yet. hand me a beer. Um uh, I'll do morning hand just you a beer. Give me a fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> um so okay, so do you that was that was pretty cool. That and when you said you had some heat, you know, which I don't the music wasn't that good, but <laughs> No, but, no, like, but the context is cool. I'm just talking. It's it's you. it's one of those things. <laughs> Man. Shoot, I wish this was a longer. Hold on, you gotta be careful, man. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice. I have a little pull tab. Thank you. You're <laughs> so fucking stupid. Thanks, Chuck Norris. If you're listening, <laughs> if you're out there, man, <laughs> I really want to get that book back from you, Modern Karate. <laughs> Oh my god, where is that book? It's in your fucking front yeah. hellhole somewhere. <laughs> but it is funny though because um the reason why like there's a bunch of really good local bands that you know that don't last forever, no. right? So like I there's like the guy uh, I have one in my fucking head and I want to find it so bad and I want to save it for if we actually do like an all Florida episode, but that needs to come up. Dude Actually, since we're doing announcements to the fucking camera, which you've never done before. Mm-hmm. Seriously, though, if you actually listen and you're one of the, wait, we have about 60 people that, I mean, now that doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a lot to me. That's I mean, I mean, you just, so two, just two me. fucking dudes, you know, fucking, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> just, we're just, we're literally just, we both have jobs. We come here, we do this, we like it. And now that we're actually starting to actually interact with people was fucking cool, dude. That's very fucking cool. awesome. Yeah. Very good. So, <laughs> but it, seriously though, I, I know, I know Wayne's listening. I know Dan's listening. I know Ken's listening yeah. for sure. I mean, those are our good buddies and they always listen. If you have local <clears throat> bands that you remember that you really think, mm-hmm. you know, I, let's do that. Cause we want to really cater. It might not be the next one, but I want to really sit down with you and actually cater to An all Florida episode. I think that'd be awesome. I wanted to, it'd be called the dead episode. All the dead, good local bands. Yep. I think that'd be uh, awesome. it, you know, it's really cool is that like a while ago, there was a guy yeah. on uh, TikTok and he was like playing, he was kind of like, hey, listen to these bands or whatever. And they're all like Southern S bands. I'm like, hey, uh, I like the, the route you're going. Uh, local band to me, that's not a band anymore, was actually History of Monsters. He should check them out. Yeah, for and sure. And he checked them out and he messaged me. He's like, Bro, this man fucking rules. But I'm I like, think people yeah. appreciate that shit too, though. You know what I mean? I like, think he follows us on the, the oh, podcast cool. as well. And, there you, you know, go. Yeah. So I was like, it, it, that's, it, it's, it's not about the clickbait shit for me. It, it really isn't. No, I don't and want that. And if we ever get big to where Coors can give me free beer every week, Gucci. Dude, if I'd you're be sponsored so, by Coors for doing something a lot different. If I can do a promotional <laughs> video with PBR. Chuck Norris and bring back the karate <laughs> Corvette, um... This needs to be back in stores, man. <laughs> the, karate, I wanna, the, the Karate Corvette. The Karate Corvette. The, the, there's something in here. Um, it's his beard. <laughs> oh, it's another one. <laughs> well, that's a different shape. It's a different thing. It's Where a, do you go? Uh, no, snow, no two snowflakes are the same. I never told you this, but the main purpose of this podcast is to bring back Toys R Us. <laughs> I want Toys R Us. <laughs> Dude, okay. Did any? Did you ever hear like that? Like the most saddest thing about the Toys R Us closing down? Oh, dude, they totally go right here. Oh, wait, what, the dude? F- <laughs> Are those pizza cutters? No way. It okay, it's a suicide machine. If you flick the back tailgate hard enough, it'll flick back in your microphone. I feel like they have to go here, and I bet you Chuck Norris grabs them. You know, I don't know. I don't think Chuck Norris needs that car. Anyway, the car needs Chuck Norris. All right, do you have any songs that you want to play now? Okay, so I'll do one more. Okay, so uh, another good buddy of ours, that uh, Bill, he oh, yeah. actually sent me a message of a band and a song that we should play. Mm-hmm. Chuck Norris is in this car, dude. Oh, I, Bill, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen Bill since Agnostic Front. Is that the same Bill, right? When Dixie Bill? Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know. That's just where I know. I don't think we've done this band before. Right. Uh, and it, it, I've actually been kind of wanting to do this band. Uh, but the band's Expire. Oh, I'm, 
I love Expire. Expire's dude. good, man. Expire reminds me of what's that other band? The Desolated. Desolated. But uh, his his voice is a little higher pitched, but it's mm, good. Yeah, dude. Uh, I remember Expire. Expire. They broke up like five, six, seven years ago. Like really? They broke up within the last five, oh. five, six years. But Expire is good, dude. Uh, what was the song? Pretty low. I wonder if it's from the same album that I'm thinking of. I think yep, it, it is. It is. Yeah. This yeah, is, I, this I is a good the, album. I just remember the chick's face. Um, Somebody's girlfriend. I don't remember your face. Okay, shut up. Well, you remember the song. Expire. Pretty low. This band looks awesome. Just open, just... album before this I really liked too. Yeah, I mean, this is where Street Soldier got all of his influence. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the local pub. It's almost kind of like a Trapped Under Ice vocals. You know? I, was, that, I was just literally about to say that. It's so funny you said that. I remember listening to this band a lot when I was listening to Trapped Under Ice. Not the same guy, right? No. But maybe I'm feeling low. Take now. lose control. like a break. Don't to the same. It's weird because there's a lot dip, uh, there's a um, that be that boom. It's a kind of like I don't know if that's like an East Coast thing, but I almost do it normally with like East Coast style bands. Yeah, um, Bridge Nine. Yeah, they're from Boston. Yes. Um, I used to go on their forums a lot just to watch all the nerds talk shit to each other. <laughs> they they just bitch at each other. I was like, oh my god. You both are wearing the same uh, <laughs> fucking it dies today fucking sweatpants. Where you chose, you wear the fight. All you lose, refuse to let my life be reduced to rubble. Prayer. Where your shit keeps piling up. Grab a shovel. That bass tone is so fucking nasty. I love it. I almost appreciate this. Bring it of, back, bring it back a little bit right before it, that it, bass tone. It is really good though. I actually almost appreciate that kind of heavy part yeah. bef- more than a breakdown. Cause it's just like a throw the fucking chair, fucking dude, throw fuck it, it up, dude. Trash can, dude. That's what you're throwing. Just like, fuck it. Throw a polar bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh god damn, I thought I went it's it's back a little bit further. I know, I didn't realize the song was so fucking short. Oh, you wear the fight! Just, his bass, like, why not? Get a shovel! Oh, yeah. Burr, burr. <laughs> Dude, give me a pause, man. That, that little perfect little feedback pause right there, that was. That's a good, that's good. I love Expire, man. I, yeah. it's, it's a shame they broke up. I'd actually be curious to know if any of the ba- members of that band actually went on to um, do other things. I'm sure they probably did. I don't know. I would hope so. Um, Thanks, Bill. Yeah, was- man. Bill. Fucking killer. I yep. had forgotten about Expire. And it, honestly, like, he, he was messaging me about it. He also said that you were a monster for your toilet paper usage. I just want to let you know that like, <laughs> there's at least someone on my side. You know what's so funny is every time I go to wipe now, I think about everybody, like, hating on me. And I'm just, I'm just like... <laughs> Getting all the shit out of it. Fuck your shit, dog. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's very good. Uh, I don't know. All right, want to take a quick break and then... uh, I would love to take a quick break. Yeah, it's been 45 minutes. Yeah. This is going to be a long one. I'm okay with it, though. I'm okay. I'm I'm okay. I'm going to let Jennifer know. Yeah, that's awesome. She's going to be in this episode. That's fucking cool. I appreciate that. All right, we'll be right back. Is that cool? All right. Yeah, it's very good. All we're, right, cool. We're, we're back. Where, cool. Uh, uh, where's my beer? <laughs> uh, uh, did you bring it out there? Oh, the door's open. Oh, my God, it's still open. What is What is happening? This goddamn beer. Then give me one, and then relieve the stress on the Hold door. On. Goddamn. <laughs> I'll, pa- I'll pause it. No, nah, I'll just cut it out. It's fine. Where are you going? 
Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. I almost had some new um, sound effects, but I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it. And we're back. We're back. Yes, yes. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dear. Dude, every time I watch that clip of uh, of us watching the react the reaction video to that gang gang, <laughs> dude, I see how hard I'm laughing, and I'm like, that was so funny. I I don't know why it was so funny. It's just it, it's it, oh, you're expecting this big epic gang gang, <laughs> just some shit. Anyway, so yeah. Anyway, like Ly Gia. <laughs> It's time we do Ligia. Oh, Ligeia. it is time. Oh, we, we've talked about it. So I'm we'll, curious what song you're going to play. Well, I can tell you the first song that it's from the same album. It's not. I guarantee you, oh, you're playing a different it's album. Not from your gift, your ghost. Nope. Oh, well, no, that's that's the album I'm playing. It's fine because I might have to throw. Uh, do we do? I don't know. Do we, we can do, do half and half. I don't care. No, I really don't care. No, it's fine. Anyway, um, no, we we've talked off and on about Ligia a lot in the past and. <laughs> Um, I always thought they were good. This song, to me, was a little bit of... It, it was different from the rest of the album. Because mm. I remember that one song that was like... Dun, 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 dun. But this one's a little bit more upbeat, more fast-paced. But it was a music video, too, so I thought it was cool. But I was listening to it at work, and I was like, man, I remember this fucking album. I remember the album cover. It had like a guy holding a present and, and, the like, girl. and like a spirit, yeah. you know? Mm. Like, if there was ever a museum for like 2000s uh, metal and hardcore artwork, that needs I would, to be a thing. I would be the curator. <laughs> yeah. Not not the curator, but like definitely the final approval. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, mm. yeah, that, that makes the cut. Not enough birds. <laughs> yeah. Not enough blood splatter. <laughs> Wait, we, we need to put like a radio antenna in yeah, there. Yeah. The know? font's all wrong on this one. Mm, no, no, no. <laughs> is that, right. What is that? Impact? <laughs> wrong font. No. So this is, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Monotype. Uh, <laughs> so this is Legia, and the song is called Beyond a Doubt. Yep. And there's a music video. I've never watched a music video by them, so I'm very excited. No, it's good. <laughs> I think it's Give me a little bit more in my ears. I love like the semi talking, like, yeah. like EC 1000. Left handed? Yeah. On Earth? Hell yeah. That's a sick fucking zip up. See, pause this real fast. And we would rewind it to this part. They were so good because at, at that moment in my life, when I was listening to like new bands, if they had clean vocals, I, well, I wasn't about it. Like, it, you know what I mean? No, you're not. I didn't want it. No, I'm. I'm glad that you brought that up because the other song that I had has clean vocals in it too. But I wanted to bring up a good point, at least for my taste, and I think you're kind of just kind of confirm what I think too. Yeah. Like, you know, I love Poison the Well. I know. And Poison the Well would have clean parts, but it's not like an epic vocalist singing some kind of metal anthem or anything like that. He's just kind of... That's, a that's he's the, the, at, the line, he's adding, right? He's adding the accent mm. to the harshness. And I think he did it really well. I think Poison the Well always did it well. Like one of my favorite fucking Poison the Well songs, it, it just breaks down into like a really somber slash melancholy just tone and he yeah. just sings this lyric and it's so good but it's not like it's not like your typical attack attack you know what i'm saying like right. would be your metal like, yeah. metal core verse and then the guitar player would sing the chorus mm -hmm. it's not like that it's kind of just adding the accent to the song yeah so i think you mean on the same page at least with that kind of it, it clean it, vocals could be good it didn't make me want to turn it off. No, it was, it, it was exactly. the right amount and the perfect kind for sure for this genre. So Absolutely. rewind it yeah, a little right, bit because right, I don't yeah. want to ruin. The I think whole... I think it went into it pretty well too. Oh, and correct me yeah, if I'm, that's another thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but 
the rest of the songs in this album were not this fast paced. They were a little bit more chuggy, a little bit more brash. Because this this is the same one that says like, uh, "I'm sorry, you're ugly." Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a good. That's their title song, track. That's the dude. song I was talking about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's heavy, but this was kind of a little bit more upbeat. Yeah. Um. He's obviously. I mean, he's he's got a good voice. I th I think his vocals were good. It was distinct enough to like you know that was his band. My so. my. Uh, <laughs> My uh, crazy personality or whatever is thinking, I think I can get his voice. Ooh. If we did a band, I'm saying, and I give me three months. Mm -hmm. I bet you I can sound like him. The only only compliment I've ever gotten about any kind of vocal that I've ever done was, I sound like New Poison the Well. You sound like Bane to me, dude. <laughs> is that what you wanted me to do? I just sang. You sound like you're. you're, you're <laughs> You're really good Sorry, at I almost can't. sounding exactly like everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate Bane, but his voice. <laughs> I was the lead singer of Bane. I was the lead singer of Bane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Episode one. Go back and listen to Yeah, it. please. Uh, okay, anyway. Continuing. Why'd you? Why'd you? Fucking pull over Ferret. He's not a great singer. That's why I think it works. Yeah. He's just, he can hold the note, and I think that works. I think he is a, like a pretty decent vocal, but he's not like an, uh, he's not, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and then he goes into that. He's the only one in the band that looks like a fucking Chad, though. You know that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I bet you that dude lifts. Insane. Or oh, dead. He helps the drummer put his hoodie on. <laughs> Sorry. I love this band. That was a great band, dude. God, and their fucking breakdowns was perfect. Set this straight. We won't turn back now! Uh, you turn your back on me! Call out for pain! You don't oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> you I rocked my headphones off! Dude, you were, you were head making way too hard, dude. You turn your back on me! Dude. Dude, okay, also, the way that song ended, fucking perfect, dude. I would... I think, and I could be wrong. The next song in the album goes good, like it, it, like it's a good flow. It could. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm so glad. <laughs> I don't know that the, the uh, playlist, but yeah. I'm so glad you did bring up Legia because it, <clears throat> it is one of those weird bands that I feel like not enough people. And I hate to be like this. I don't think enough people know who they are. Um, well, I think at the time. And we and we we touch on this always a little bit, but at the time when bands were like super popular um, back then, it the only way you got your music was through like MySpace, Pure Volume, things like that, and that was definitely around this time for one hundred percent. So it, I don't know if it was like as viral. Like we didn't the word viral wasn't a thing when we were kids. Yeah, you either you know played I mean? a bunch of shows. I mean, obviously, like you would get you'd have a top eight, you'd have a top eight. Damn it. <laughs> hey, fuck you. You'd have a top. You hand me one, too. You'd have a... No. Forget the car. <laughs> God damn it. You're fucking toys. <laughs> anyway. But, okay. So, I'm not going to do it right now, but there's definitely times where there's singers, like, obviously, everybody knows Poison the Well. That's one of the hot topic bands that... Ever, not, not hot topic as in the store, but, like, the, the major bands that everybody in that genre knows. But the album, you come... God damn it. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> you should send me a picture of this saying, oh, your package is delivered. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I definitely think there was definitely a time where I'm putting an empty beer can in the koozie. Um, I don't know, man. That, it was good. That band's got unnoticed. Like, it wasn't by all, like... It was good, man. Yeah. The band was, like, the way but, he I mean, Ferret was, like, a really good, like, label at that time. They're, like, mm. at that time, dude, like, and we talked about this, uh, I don't know. Ferret was... All the time, dude, I feel like. Dude, Ferret and Trustkill were the monsters, man. Like, there is not one victory after that. 
Victory had some good bands too. Oh, yeah. You know what? And Rise. I think those might have been like... Rise, Rise was the beginning of the end for the clean vocal choruses for me, though. The, I, will, I will say that. I mean, a lot of bands kind of merged with Rise for the distribution purposes, but that was like the beginning of the end for like the Attack Attack style bands. Where like yeah. they would have the metal core like verse and then they'd have like the super clean chorus, which to each their own, I'm not a fan of it. But what I like about this guy, and I can only compare it to Poison the Well, and I can compare it to, oh, shit, like Take Life. That's my new favorite, dude. Take Life fucking rules, dude. Yeah. Um, but they add, I say clean vocals, but they add non-screaming entity to mm-hmm. that, to the sound, which obviously it's mostly harsh vocals. But would they add a tone to that? But, but it also can add to what I always liked is the color, the yeah. color of the song. And it's not that I enjoy. That's a cool way to put it. It's not that I enjoy. It's not that I enjoy. Okay. So the way I compare it, and this is a stupid comparison, but have you ever seen the movie Sicario? No. Okay. Anyway, Sicario is a movie about this drug cartels and this guy, his his daughter is killed by this drug cartel family. And the final, and one of the scenes in the movie is he, he breaks into the cartel leader's house hmm. and he silently sits down at the table where his the cartel leader and his family are eating dinner. And he's not screaming. He's not mad. He's not angry. He's calm. Hmm. He kills his whole family in front of the guy hmm. and then kills him. But there's no anger. There's no rage. There's no screaming about it. And the way I'm, I know it sounds weird, but the way I'm comparing it to, like, you can have such a dark song or such like an emotional song, but it doesn't have to be belted out. But the way you can say I see it, you're going the way that. you could say it and set the tone, yeah, it could be just as heavy though. I, it, to me, anyway, I kind of want to do this, and I, I, I that know, was a dumb comparison, but no, I, I, no, I understand. Movie, I, made, made I understand where sense, you're going with yeah. this. I do want to play another Ligia song. Let's do it. Only, only for the fact that um, I do. I do have this like really deep love for the band Ligia, but the first song that I ever heard by them that got me like obsessed with them is Ligia, mm-hmm. uh, and the song is called Hood Rat. And okay. you don't understand why. Oh but, yeah, I know. But it, it's I think it's kind of it'd be kind of cool for the listeners that don't know Ligia that like that song, but also to get like kind of like another. Um, yeah, this fucking album uh, rule, dude. dude. I had that T-shirt. They, no. made, they, they made that as a t- yeah. I threw it away. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, um, let, let you hood rat. So nasty. Yeah, the, the album was called Bad News. I miss that. Dude, the open. Uh, the walk in. Should always like me for my feelings <laughs> <laughs> and personality. Dude, that fucking walking guitar is just so sick. I'm surprised you don't like 18 Visions. Dude, I just got into him so much later. Yeah, that is, that is every shit album. <laughs> no, this I love the the little breakdown at the end of the song. It's so so much fun. Fuck somebody up to the song. I'd order a beer to this song. 15 to 30 seconds from one two to the next. You're fucking dead. 
it's not like a ridiculous tuning. It's not like super fucking dropped heavy. Like it sounds, that like, it sounds like C. But that breakdown is so nasty. It might even be B. It doesn't matter where they're playing yeah. it is what matters. Like <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I hear my signals. <laughs> hey, that's my that's my autoplay, bro. He knows where I want to go. It's yeah. actually a really good song. Thank hold you so on, much for <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah, that's a little bit of misery signals. Oh, it's such a good album. But that last song was Legia Hood Rat. Oh, I don't know. And I, I, it's I, weird I think it's how I got topped. <laughs> Is it? I don't know. I don't it's know. your fucking YouTube. <laughs> I think I, I'm gonna start just like putting like misery signal samples. Gah! That is the day I will ruin this table. I will flip the table. Throw it at a Corolla. I would throw it at a Corolla, <laughs> dude. I would ruin someone's family. Um, um, I think it's really cool that uh, th that impact, like that one song. You never heard of a band or whatever, and yeah. you hear that one song, and you're like, okay. And I, I hope that we're doing a little bit like this for people to be like, okay, now I want to listen to this whole band. Yeah, or you go know, back because and just like reminisce a little bit because a lot a of lot, the, a lot of these bands that we are playing isn't really fucking new. Right, but no. there, but no, 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 no. what I'm hoping that to kind of itch that part, it'd be like, who is this band, and why have I never heard of them? But you know I, what I'm saying. But I also think like, we're a little biased because it's like, like for example, I have a song in in my you know little list that I keep. Of it's a newer band, and I know the song, and it's got a killer breakdown in it, and it's got a killer tone, and the band's really good. But it's like it's a new band, and it doesn't make me feel like a lot of the other stuff that we listen to. And it's obviously we're biased because we have our own taste. Obviously we're older. That than is a lot absolutely of the fine. Cause I yeah. want you to play that song because the next song I had to play is also a newer band that just came out with a new band right. or a new song. And I know you're going to love it. Cause I have, I have a, I have a, a couple. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> now, Guinness, get with us. Is that a, a record? <laughs> now, how do you say this name? Uh, Catabasis. Okay. Now, yeah, no, they're, not, they're not like super new, but they only have like one song, but like they went viral with it, but then they never did anything. I wonder if they're like a studio band. Well, they're 100% a studio band. <laughs> um, uh, maybe they live in Alaska and they're waiting on members. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> it's only got 2,000 views. Which, came out a year ago. It's a yeah. It, now it's I, a I little, you, yeah. I, I get. Now I will say this. God damn. That the, did you just put all your burp inside of me? I feel like I'm full of burps now after that long burp. Yeah. And I feel like <laughs> you gave me your burps. <laughs> never give anything for free. What the fuck, man? If you never give anything for free, <laughs> the Joker, Dark Knight. It's the only Batman movie that matters. You want to know how I got these scars? Yeah. Pushing too hard. You might die the way they're Pushing too hard. Hemorrhoids. <laughs> you just put a little smile on that face. Have you ever farted a windsock? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, anyways, <laughs> this band is called Kind of Buses. <laughs> Can I go home? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I saw this on, you know, obviously uh, clips on the internet's. Um, Internet pages, but it, the breakdown was really good. But I, I, the 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 genre is not necessarily like something that I would typically flock to. But I thought the tone was good. I thought it was mm. recorded well. Okay, um, the voc the vocals is really good. Mm. Um, but it's got a killer breakdown. Okay, it. and it actually has a breakdown that you like. Mm. You've mentioned it before, but I don't know. It was something that's newer that I was like, all right, cool. It's got breaks in it or something. Yeah. Oh wait, don't tell me. You'll hear it. Yeah, it's fine. So this is. Catabasis. Grief relief. Off the bat, dude. The fact that it's only the 
singer tells me that this is a studio type project and maybe he's doing all the instrumentation. I don't know. Yeah, you're probably right on that. I mean, there's no album. They look like they fit, man. <laughs> Anybody under 30 would get that reference. Anybody under 30 doesn't get that reference. <laughs> White Bronco. Very nasty. Great vocalist. I think he's got he a good voice. Fantastic. But the Britain, the breakdown comes in, man. It's so good. Loose the gloves. Yeah. Oh, the bells. Yep. It hasn't even happened yet. Oh, it hasn't happened. It hasn't even happened yet, man. It hasn't even happened yet. Earth One Gym. Yes. Yeah. That game was rad, dude. Yeah. That was hard as fuck, too. Follow me on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive Earth One Gym. Hold okay. on. All right. It's coming. Very hard, Drew. The lifeguard's coming. Dude likes worms. I got worms. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> Worm fire. We got... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna revisit that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we gotta talk about that specific scene real quick because <laughs> what I love the most about that particular scene in Dumb and Dumber is how excited he is to tell her, I'm gonna put up a store, a pet store, it's worms. <laughs> I got worms. I got worms. <laughs> and he goes, That's for good cut. <laughs> I beg your pardon? That's what we're going to call, call it. it. <laughs> I got worms. Anyway, Dumb and Dumber, watch it. Watch it. <laughs> it's a great flick. <laughs> it's coming, bro. It, it, it does hit in a good way, though. All right. It's been on my list for a while. <clears throat> Lose the gloves, man. I'm over these gloves. Ding, fries are done. Ding. <laughs> Rock and roll, big turtles. <laughs> Rock and roll, big turtles. Okay. Are you bored? Because I can turn this off. <laughs> it, kind of. So. Okay, good. Because I don't want to watch it anymore. That, that last little bit kind of just kind of gave me like a, like a sworn in vibe. But that's also why I always hate when bands are so slow the whole song. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, but that, I do like that break. That ding, ding, ding. No, it's fun, but you know, watching that video and knowing that they probably don't have anything Dude, how else. How many worms do you think died in that music video? Um, I, uh, I, I, I would be curious about that, honestly. <laughs> um, as a worm advocate, as I am, so hold on. 
Yeah, hold on. No, but for real, you didn't know that this guy made like a bunch of shit. <laughs> you seriously don't. <laughs> Wesley Willis, dude. <laughs> McDonald's is a place to rock. <laughs> it is a restaurant where they buy food to eat. <laughs> it is a good place to listen to the music. People flock here to get down to the rock music. <laughs> rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Rock and roll McDonald's. Mm. Oh, wow. McDonald's will make you fat. They serve Big Macs. They serve quarter pounders. They will put pounds on you. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, Rock and Roll McDonald's. God damn it, you piece of shit. What is happening on this fucking planet? Okay, I don't mind on my heart. There you go. Jesus, man. I'm going to add another keyboard to the fucking wall, bro. I'm going to add another clock. No, that one has meaning, or that one has meaning. That one has meaning. No, no meaning. He's just a victim. Okay. Fucking piece of shit. I would say it's probably not mm. the keyboard's fault versus... I think it's a user error thing. I've been so good the last 10 episodes, and I'm more sober now than I was on the last five. No, it's fine. It's okay. You don't know! It's still loading. It's for Garrett's probably on the fucking Wi-Fi. <laughs> God, God damn Garrett. Fucking Garrett. Fuck you. People flock here to get down to the rock music. Rock and roll McDonald's! <laughs> Shut the shit You've up. never heard of Wesley Willis? Yes, I've heard this song before. Uh, no, but I, I didn't know, know but like, he's got so many more songs. Look on this. What is that? That's no, Wesley. No, that's no, Wesley. No, I don't, I'm not going down this route. It's I'm not going down this route. It's, it's a 30-minute documentary. We can do it off the air. We can do it at another time. You know we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> this is th okay, I'm adding that to my favorite places right now. Okay, real quick. Just before we leave. We're leaving now? No. We have... Dude, we've only been... Wow, we have... Hours to record. Um, mullet. Yeah. I just want you to hear the mullet song real quick. <laughs> Sorry, world, but you have to listen to it. Uh. It's what it is. Oh, I love these, like, slideshow ones. <laughs> mullet! <laughs> Do something about your long, filthy hair. It looks like a rat's nest. Do something about your mullet. Get out the hair, cookless jerk. <laughs> This isn't inspiring to you? No, dude, it just makes me want to <laughs> swallow a fucking bullet, dude. <laughs> I mean, I got guns. Okay, so you played a new band. <laughs> Here's where I come fucking with you now. I love it. Oh, I'm getting the keyboard ready. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Shake it off the floor! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So. <laughs> I will beat the fuck out of you. I'll make you fall off another ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you bring three more ladders in the parking lot. <laughs> I'll make you lose another cut. It's only two, it's only two dudes. <laughs> um, cut. Okay, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so <laughs> we're saying cut. So Cutthroats came out with a new song. Did they? Okay. Yes. Okay, Good. so Cutthroats, we definitely have played them before. I really don't yeah. care. There's a band from the Bay Area. They're really good. From California. They're, They're playing soon. We're, we're, I'm going to that show. We have to go to that show. It's all hush, It's hush Domain right and Cutthroat. Yeah. Oh, wait. Are we not supposed to talk about it? That's what Wayne said. Oh, well, we'll cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> don't go to that show. <laughs> <laughs> Killing someone at that show. <laughs> oh, dude. I oh. So, need to buy more. Cutthroats came out with a new song. Did they? Did, uh, recently. Dude, this band is so fucking good, dude. And um, two T's. Oh. <clears throat> I can't see that far. Um, Cutthroats. And the song is called Victims of Night. Like the night or a night? Victims of night. Is that like a vampire thing? The cut. Oh, they got a music video. Cool. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, this band... For the age that they you, are? You know what's funny is I was actually thinking about this earlier when... Yeah. Um, like, with, if they ever played again, I would wonder if like they would be mad that like I was like kind of like ragging on like the whole gun thing in California. But I'm like, 
Ah, they don't lose them. No, it's definitely yeah. I, their, their brand, and I, I like. I think it's cool that they're sticking dude, with their brand. This band, I'm buying every fucking. This shirt they band have. is so fucking good, dude. Yeah, like it, this band is so fucking good. Yeah, I had not been super impressed with, especially a younger band. Mm-hmm. Like I, when we saw, we, we saw them like a uh, year and a half, two years this ago. This is like one of the Hoods. first bigger. Yeah. This was like one of the first bigger shows after COVID. Yeah. They, and, they came down with hoods. Hoods took yeah, them down. Yeah, uh, man, that, um, was, that was a great fucking show. It was hoods, cold side, fucking. It was it was awesome. Mm-hmm. That was a great fucking show. Dude. Absolutely, that show was fucking fun, man. It was a lot of fun, mm-hmm. and that that's a key word. Like it was mm-hmm. all good vibes, just fun. And this band fucking killed it. But, but I know we talk about a lot about being in the pit and all that shit, and I don't really care about that. But like I was so you just watch these. I was play. so. Having a good time just on the side, just watching like those bands. God damn, these are young kids and they're fucking killing it. Yeah. And it's good. Anyway, hand me a beer. I'll get it set up. Oh, I'll, I'll give you a beer. No, oh, yeah. just uh, airmail it. What if we got like a pulley system? You could like deliver airmail. <laughs> we get like a drone. I'm still on board. With- oh, God. <laughs> I'm still on board of cutting a fucking hole in this desk. We have to do that because I think it would save us a lot of time. Although I saw it. <laughs> if you see me, let me go. Da, 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 Tokyo. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. Is that what they actually say? Tokyo Drift. That's not oh. what they say. You don't know. Yes. They're not from oh, no. Japan. Tokyo's in China. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know. Get- history of monsters, history of karate. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, so uh, this is uh, the cutthroats. Cutthroats, victims of night. Victims of night. So good. I'm ready for it. <laughs> hey, it's a Corvette. <laughs> it's a Corvette. <laughs> They're so ignorant and fucking love it. All their gear is so good. I'm like, oh, oh amp- okay, Ampeg. I see a 6505 or a 5150. LTDs, that's a Schecter. Uh, it's Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Jackson. Is that a different singer? Nope. No, it's not. Okay. Instead of Florida State, they're a bit more crashy than they were. Not that they weren't then, but caught the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when bands do that. They just like, kind of like, downplay everything. They're just fucking having fun, dude. dude. That's, I love that shit. Don't, I don't need your girlfriend running through a park, you know? I don't need a backstory in your fucking music video. Oh, this is her. This is them, dude. This is fucking Bay Area. Oh, I know. I love it. Ignorant fucking... Dude, that bass player was fucking nasty at the show, too. He's a, he was a little guy, but man, he was killing it. Dude, God that damn. Dude, that motherfucker was kicking I can't stop watching that dude fucking play. There we go. That's that West Coast shit right there. Modelo on the amp. I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, they got fucking Hennessy and Sprite, dude. They're fucking... <laughs> you know, this actually kind of takes me back to a little bit of like more of an all-out war, um, like all-out war. Um, uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on the fucking names. <laughs> oh. I 
I love this band. I gotta find my shirt. I don't know where it is. <laughs> What's the chips fall? Stick to the script. Hands up. God. God damn, dude. <laughs> That's so good, dude. LTD Eclipse. There you go. There it is. Oh. Dude, he's got the perfect half stack again. Marshall Cab, fucking 5150. Yeah. It's probably a 6505. I don't know. Oh, cut it, cut it. Yeah, that shit's fucking awesome, dude. I love it. Yeah, so that was fucking Cutthroats. Uh, God damn it. Shut up. Uh, new song, Victims of God, I Night. Love that. I love that band. Dude, they are so much fun. And like that video is a, like a perfect, like, presentation of them it's just like fuck around find out I, <laughs> i'll cut this off i'm not supposed to talk about it but if they're playing with domain dude dude, oh, yeah. dude that show is gonna be tits dude yeah oh my god i can't if that's dude it's happening i already put it in for work today <laughs> yeah i'll be there hmm. all thousand percent but yeah dude like they're just one of those bands, like, they're all so fucking young, and, no, you know, they get up there, they have a fucking good time. What, I, just what I like about it, so heavy. but I also think, okay, so uh, there's another band that kind of did that, too, like, okay, so in the last episode, we played Animosity. Yeah. Animosity was, like, one of those, like, you know, they smoke weed, they're very, in, I mean, they sold pipes at their merch table. <laughs> like, they were just, like, that I've band. seen that with, like, grinders and yeah, shit yeah. like that. Like, yeah, they're very much, like, in the, that, like, party, mm -hmm. and then, you know... Regardless, I mean, they're not anti-straight edge. They're just whatever. We're doing our thing. We're doing our thing, and it doesn't yeah, matter. For sure. But I, I always enjoy it when a band doesn't take themselves too serious. Just embrace yourself. Just, just have, fun. have fun with it. Now, if yeah. you are a serious band, it is what it is. But uh -huh. what's cool about it is if you actually look into it deep, like in depth, like obviously, okay, so the perfect example that I can explain is obviously, you know, I love Cannibal Corpse. That's mm -hmm. my, my, my number one death metal band of all time. Yeah. I don't care. Um, but one of the one of the, my favorite videos on the internet is like when you follow Corpse Grinder, the singer, like mm -hmm. at Target, just being a dork, yeah. and like he loves like fucking World of Warcraft and all that shit. Yeah. Like, dude, they're just people. Like, obviously, they don't cut people up and slice people up. They're just fucking <laughs> nerds. Everybody's no, they, a everybody's a fucking nerd. Yeah. Deep, if you think about it, deep at heart, everybody's just a fucking nerd. Yeah. We're all nerds about something. I mean, you know, look at this. See this guy? Yeah, you've been <laughs> you've been delivering me beer all night in a uh, karate Corvette. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> no, but but I, I think that's so cool is when you, w once you stop taking yourself so seriously, how free you can be. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and don't get me wrong. I mean, I understand like music videos are what they are and you know, all that shit. But just seeing a band, just, I love music videos when it's just the band fucking doing what the band, even if it's like, I'm not saying what they just did wasn't serious, but like just even the bands that we love that we both enjoy, like just... A, a live performance with like the recording over it. You know yeah. what I mean? Just something that's real. What I love about that is you know, I don't need a story. So like the downplay on like, you know, they're they're playing their fucking new song and yeah. they have a video and they're still adding the audio of the fucking car drifting around them. Like oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. so fun to me. Like, yeah, go to Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No, but but I think that's awesome, man. I love it when bands don't overplay themselves and just like, listen, this is our fucking music. Yep. It is what, I mean, don't get me wrong. There are certain music videos out there that are super cool. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, I'm not, well, well fuck Toy and Tool is like any acclamation. Like, I don't need that. Yeah. I don't need that. Yeah. You know what? No one asked for Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Tool. Piece of shit. Um, a lot of people uh, really like Tool. Yeah, and they suck. I don't care. Anyway, you want to hear another song? I would love to okay. hear that song. Okay, cool. So I'm kind of shooting a gamble here with you. Okay. Okay. I'm listening. Number one. Okay. It's a ferret band. Number two, <laughs> members from this band started one of my bands that I typically enjoy, but the riffage. riffage. The, the riffage. Okay. I will. I will start out by saying this. I'm not a huge fan of his vocals. Mm. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. but I. It, it's a legendary band from Ferret, and I was like on a Ligia 
ferret kick. Gotcha. Kind of re- doing a little research last night at work, and I was like, okay, I remember this band. This band, um, so there's a new band that I really like called uh, Vexes. And I know you would not like them at all. Okay. That's fine. That's not important. But uh, this band is called A Life Once Lost. They were kind of, have you heard of them? I, I don't know, dude. Okay. I, it, like, I see it on the screen. Oh, yeah. And I've been kind of, like, thinking. But, um. I don't know. I I just think we can give it a listen. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I, I will say Yo, this. Yo, Ferret, if you're listening. <laughs> well, no, they not a thing Ferret, anymore. Ferret, if you're listening. Look at me. Hey, Ferret, where's that freaking t-shirt I ordered two I years ago? I want to fucking pull over <laughs> fucking Ferret. <laughs> anyway. I want a hoodie so bad. No, so. I don't know, but I feel like the riffage was mm. so up your alley, but it sucks because I think his voice kind of ruins it for me anyway. Uh, so I don't know. I'm w- I'm wondering if you're willing to look past. Let's take the bit. shot on this one. Yeah, I don't know. Let's so just this is a, a life once lost. Yeah, vulture. This is from vulture. their their. I had that T-shirt too. <laughs> I had them all. I had them yeah, all. I had them all. <laughs> I know exactly what font that is. <laughs> vocals because it's in this song. Like, it's in this genre. You know? There you go. Then I'll, okay. Oh, yeah. Dude, this riff is... <laughs> it wasn't mixed very well, no, but, but it's there. there. I'm listening to the guitar, and I'm like, you would love this shit. video was uploaded, but the vocals are too front heavy. It's mixed a little weird. But it's got all the things that you, I know you like in it. I love this. There it is. I was waiting for the the steady (laughs) two-step. I'm already following them. (laughs) <laughs> well, they haven't been a band for 15 years, so. <laughs> 2005, baby. Yeah, I know. The golden years. as far as his tone, but uh, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't kill it for me. It doesn't kill it for me. Helicopter dad, <laughs> can you uh? This is going to swap. Yeah, see there you go. Oh, oh my God! How it started? Jason Bateman. Yeah, so that was uh, a life once <laughs> lost. Hold on, I have to turn off autoplay. As a life once lost, Vulture. Yeah, yeah dude, that well, was. So he went that on. Was, he that, went that's on, definitely my shit. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like more of a rock and roll, like rock kind of tone. Yeah. But um, uh, you, uh, he went on to um, be a part of uh, the band Vexes, which I know you wouldn't enjoy, but they're very much like a... You saying the vocalist went? No, the guitar player. Okay. The guitar player started a band like three, f- five years ago. 35 years ago? Yeah, 35 years. Hand me one too. Uh, uh, called Vexes. And I know you wouldn't like it, but it's one of those things like what we talked about where clean vocals are appropriate for the music that it is. And it's not just like gimmicky, you know. Yeah. We hate gimmicks here. As you as you load a beer into a fucking karate Corvette car. <laughs> There's Chuck Norris as karate. Oh my god. Did the weight on it now? Do you think they can make it to Alaska? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Here you go, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but I was trying to do something fancy. I should have just kept doing what I was doing, and then should I gamble and open it? Absolutely. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. It only fell once. You know what? You're right. <laughs> Move your keyboard a little bit. <sighs> it's so. I think we should give a little weather update to the people. Um, it's, it's starting, starting to, to get feel hot in Florida uh, today. We woke up and it was sixty degrees, but in the afternoon ninety. <laughs> well, when I when I got on my motorcycle this morning, I needed a flannel, and then later on I'm like, oh god, <laughs> it's too hot. Okay, can we open this at? <laughs> can we open this at the same time? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Ready? One, two, two. three. Oh, god. oh, this is a perfect amount of pre cum that just came out of that beer. Ooh, and he slurps it up. Just mm. your underarm is soaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> That's the name of the show. <laughs> no, I think I think I don't know. I have an idea. I don't know. I got no idea. I can't wait for new microphones. Now. I'm so sick of this shit. Yeah, I anyway, I have more music if you want me to keep going. Yeah, give me um, give me another one. Okay. Um, since I've been like kind of on an old kick, mm. uh, this was a Victory Records band. Okay. Um. Th- the year that this particular song came out, I don't think was the year that I knew them. Like as pers- personally, uh, the band is called Enwell. So they were a band. Carrots here, suck up all the Wi-Fi. Um, so <laughs> en- Enwell was a was a band that was on Victory Records, um, and I Am Divide used to play with them. Every time they were in Florida, we would play with them. Mm. Super cool dudes. I, I remember the guitar player, super nice guy, and we always played together. Um, kind of, you know, a little bit more Gideon, It Prevails type band. Mm. But I was going through the internets the other day. Ages. Yeah, like this was actually months ago I was going through this, and I've been having, I've saved this song for a while, but this song was just really good. Yeah. And it reminded me of this band. And since we're kind of like on an older kick, I was like, oh, right, well, fuck it. Let's just keep it on that. It is kind of going, it is like fun, like going through like waves, you know? Well, I mean, it's just, you know, I, that's why I always try to save at least five or six different songs from all time. So, so I can see where things are going and, you know, we'll go over from there. But uh, this song is called, uh, hold on, I got to go back up on the internet. Uh, yeah. We, I think we did this song on another episode, but we didn't release it. So I'm okay. doing it again. So I don't know if you remember it or not, but uh, that's not it. You don't fucking tell me how to spell. <laughs> it's in my reason. So is it end well or end well? Cool whip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. Say what weird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Whiskey. Oh, God. I think Garrett is here. The internet's. Oh, there it is. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I just want to be comfortable. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, 
gonna wish you've never had hair! Mock tutorial, mock tutorial. Okay, there it is. Start the lawnmower. Sorry, you can do it. You can do a better video when you're in your mom's kitchen. She lives an hour away. <laughs> Fuck you, Mosh Log. <laughs> Fucking cunning bitch ass. <laughs> I didn't enjoy this part, but, you know, that's kind of, you know, it is what it is. You're jumping on that trampoline. <laughs> Cut that shit out, bub. I know I hate it so much when they do shit like that, but whatever. You didn't need to go that route. Everything was fine before that. And this is great, too. That's a guitar player like, I want to do something. Let me sing a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, that galloping, it's almost like thick as yeah, bloody, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Same thing, just fucking back into a two step. It's a good song. Minus that Fred Durst part. <laughs> 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 Mine is that bullshit. So that was. Oh, God. Did I that was. No, you're good. Okay. Good. So that was uh, Endwell. Yeah. Uh, depression yeah. party. I remember. Okay. So the first show I remember playing with Endwell. Uh, so that's not a newer band. Or is that a newer song? It's a newer song of the band. Interesting. Okay. So this that song came out in 2011. I think we. I was playing shows with Endwell. I mean, I am Divide was playing shows with Endwell back in like 2008, bro. So there was a couple of different, you know, maybe member changes. I don't know. Um, so this came out in 2011. This song came out in 2011, yes. Gotcha. Um, but I remember our first show that we ever played. I remember I Am Divide was kind of getting some traction or whatever. There used to be a, a venue out in um, Tampa called Transition Skate Park. It was a skate park. Okay. And they had like this big warehouse and they would have shows there. It was Transition's Art Gallery. I think that's what it was called. I... I know people can correct me. I think it was called Transgender Art Gallery. Trans Transgender Dysphoria. Uh, wow. God, yeah, I gotta cut that out now. Um, hold on. Trans. You know, I'm not gonna spell. <laughs> I'm yeah. done. I'm done with it. Um, no, but I, we made friends with them. They were super cool guys, and you know, every time they were in Florida, they would we would always like kind of play with them if they were ever around, if we could play it, you know? And, um, but I just remember that band. I was like, man, that was really good. But that was like right, right before Enwell or, um, Victor records mm -hmm. started becoming like a dickhead record. Like not, not yeah. the bands, but the owner. Okay. I'm actually very interested in the history of that shit. Yeah. I can hear it too. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, nah, it was a good, Enwell was always been good. They were super cool guys. I loved, Almost the entire song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just that dumb part. I, I didn't um, like that shit either, but it is what it is. But for it being like 2011, um, that would have been kind of, that 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 like style would have been kind of new. That like little rappy like in that in that I, genre. I I don't think I don't think so. It was because that kind of shit wasn't really big until like. Basically, Franz and Attila did that. But I also think there were a lot of underground kind of hardcore bands doing kind of like the street. Because that wasn't really street, though. No, it wasn't. But I think you know that I mean? was... Like, I don't know. That is interesting. <clears throat> See, this is where I would love to like be able to phone them in and be like, what? Okay. I'll, mess I'll, message him, I'll message him on MySpace. Yeah. Why? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got shit more music, too. I got a ton of more stuff. I got a ton of more stuff. Um, where are we at? You want to take a little I... break? Yes. Um... I have to pee. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll take a little break. All right. 
Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. <laughs> but then we're back. <laughs> you know, pe people fail to realize that the Soviet Union ended in like the 90s. They don't read history. You got something in your beard. Freedom. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There it is. There it is. It's on the keyboard now. No, it's right there. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. I got another band. Go um, I don't want to play anymore. I know. <laughs> well, you, you might have to. Um, so, uh, I know we played this band. Um, uh, and you're wearing their shirt. So oh, okay, good. I felt like it kind of... Oh, but it's such a good band, though. It's a very good band. That's okay. It's okay to revisit. I think the, the, the point of it is, in the past week since the last episode, I heard the song, and I was like, I want to I want to listen to the song with you again. You know, we, so... We did, we did play... I don't. I doubt it's the same song, but I just remember. I it's wonder not. if it's the same album or not. But anyway, it's a good band. So the band's Advent, obviously. Advent um, fucking if rules. You're, if you're watching, mm -hmm. um, and the song is called Nothing. Okay. Um. Nope. Different album. Uh. Oh, is there? Yep, is there is. A, is that a live video though? I don't know. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's we'll get right into it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's so fucking good. I've ever seen live. Side to fucking side. Dude. And they, just, they don't give it to you? They kind of do, though. They, a little they, bit. they give you a little bit, yeah. Such a killer front man too, man. So good. One of the nicest dudes I've ever met. Yeah. Like, I mean, I I met him, you know, but I shook his hand. I bought a shirt from him. He's the coolest motherfucker. He was just, you could just tell he was just there, like, hey, thank you for fucking buying my shit, dude. Like, just the coolest dude. Yeah. So that was Advent Nothing, dude. That 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 guy was one of the coolest motherfuckers. And actually, you know what? I have another song, and we're gonna play this one. Um, Another Advent song? No. You, you know what his original band was, right? Mm -mm. He, uh -huh. oh, the singer of Advent was the, was the drummer for The Bled. The Bled? No, hold on. No, 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 no. He was the drummer for Beloved. Beloved, okay. Good. Okay. Beloved is not that kind of music, but it's still heavier on the emo side. Mm. Like, I say emo, but like it's more post hardcore. That that is such a cool line to dance uh, back and forth in is like the emo and post hardcore because they're, they're, that genre is really it, fun, dude. It's not the same thing. No, but, it's not. No, I know, but that's you know, the, that's I, the cool not, thing. It's like so like when somebody says to me, "Well, there's also like a there's also like a weird, um, an, a, you know, okay." So are you familiar with like bands like God is an Astronaut? Of moving mountains, those kind of like instrumental bands. Okay, they yeah. consider that post hardcore. Mm. That's what they consider post hardcore. But over the years, okay, bands like Thrice, mm. a lot of those type of bands they consider post hardcore. 
Would you throw cursive into that? No, no, no. Because only because cursive is was that a, more emo. Yeah. Okay. I would con, me personally, I For would sure. consider yeah, cursive no, a little bit yeah. more emo. No, that's a bad thing. I just so I could see it. I, I don't. I would not put cursive and thrice in the same boat. Only because thrice is a little darker. Would you put Thursday? Okay, where would you put Thursday? Post hardcore. Post hardcore. I would. Okay. Thursday is a little. Well, although Thursday definitely an emo band. <laughs> <laughs> no, one hundred percent an emo fucking. I, and, I, that's kind of where I'm going with. Like, I think it's a fun line to dance back and forth on because, mm. like, lovers of this also love this, yeah. right? There's, mm -hmm. it, th and I, I think that's where like music is very situational, and um, it's a lot of fun to dance between those those genre lines. And um, Thursday is huge love of mine. Like, I love I, I, I enjoy Thursday. I I've, thrice was a little bit more progressive. I still love thrice. I like you know, but it was. I think thrice grabbed me when I was in high school. I, okay, should so, we play a thrice song? I don't think we. Oh God! Do you, well, which one? <sighs> There's one that I will never play on the podcast because I'll fucking cry. I'm not gonna that, do it. Did, we're not playing that one because that's that's not the that's thrice not, we're talking about. That's no, not the thrice we're talking about. No. So. If I had to say, like, off the top of my head, my favorite Thrice song other than that one mm -hmm. is literally the first song on The Artist in the Ambulance. It's such a good album. Dude, so Artist in the Ambulance is literally one of my favorite at top five. My uh, guitar teacher growing up, that was his all-time favorite dude, man. Dude, Thrice, K Dustin Kenstrew is an amazing... His voice is perfect. He's got one of the most identifiable voices and it, it's so weird when i was younger and he's like you know uh teaching me i see him once a week you know and we ended up being good friends and stuff like that and uh he's like thrice you gotta listen to thrice gotta listen to thrice and i was just like nah nah it, to me at that time where i was in my life i looked at it as kind of like dad rock it, but, it's, but it's now, not dad rock though. but it's then like just, it's, fast it's forward not, like though. even like five or six years after that yes! I, 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 oh, I, I did not mean to do that i'm so sorry so i'll cut that out but uh, but that that's that's when i was like kind of like pubescent you know i was i i just wanted breakdowns you know like that kind of like bullshit you know and once i got like a little bit older i like found thrice again i'm like Oh, yeah, thrice! This is fucking thrice. Now, what I love most about thrice is this so, is a great fucking song, by the way. That you that no, you put it's it on. an amazing song. Th thrice is such an anomaly because <sighs> dude, I'm getting like oddly emotional about this. I'm getting goosebumps just because yeah. thrice is okay. So I almost got my throat tattooed last year. I just didn't have the money, but it was it's with thrice lyrics. So <laughs> beneath all that, there is a throat. Do you have a neck? I'm not, I'm not fucking, uh, you know, what's his name? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to, I was going to get like a, a neck side piece of, um, of anyway. what? uh, so I love thrice, but okay. The, the song black honey. Oh, so the song is, so you're familiar with it. Yes. So, <laughs> and I don't want to get emotional on the podcast again, but this It's is, one of those things that is not their flagship song. It's because it doesn't have to be, but the lyrics. But it's such a huge but the song. Lyrics, and the lyrics and the tone of the song just, like, it just, they weren't complicated, but it, like we talked about before, like with that, I brought up that, you know, the Misery Signals, uh, I Am Peripheral Movement. Like, mm. it, it's a simple lyric but you know what it is and you can kind of like in your mind imagine like kind of whatever it means to you. But that lyric from that song, I keep swinging my hands through a swarm of bees. I can't understand why they're swinging me, but I'll do it again. I'll do it. I'll do, I'll do it again. I'll do what I want. I'll do as I please until I got what I need. Mm. I know I just butchered that, but <laughs> I'm a little drunk. No, yeah, but, yeah. but the whole point of that is like, I personally relate to that so much because just won't stop only because yeah. I don't, I don't know that I've ever, I, I don't know that I've ever felt sad in my life. And this is, okay, we're going to get real, I guess. We're going to get real on the podcast now. That's fine. I don't know that I've ever felt sad in my life. I've never felt. You never had a loss or anything? No, no, no. I've mourned. There is a difference. There's a big difference. Yeah. yeah life and, I mean, but I've always. I remember, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail, but like I've had experiences in my life with my family and my father and, and things like that where mm -hmm. you have to experience, like my dad has always been a super big realist. Mm. And 
One of my favorite yeah, stories, one of my favorite stories about my dad, and I've always say this, like the difference between my mom and my dad mm. is my mom, sweet, hardworking. She, she's a dreamer. Yeah. My dad, hardworking, not so much a dreamer. And I don't mean that in a negative way. He just, my dad has just been like, he's a realist. Like he's a realist. Said, yeah. So if a hurricane was going to come to our town when I'm eight years old, <laughs> like it has before, mm -hmm. I live in Florida, I say, mommy is my, is, is, I actually never said mommy. I was always mom or mama. I never said mommy. I never said um, mommy. I only say that because Autumn calls, you know, Brandy mommy. Yeah. But anyway, I would always say, Mom, is the hurricane going to come destroy our house? And mm -hmm. she would always do the mom thing. No. Everything's Honey, good. we're fine. Yeah. Everything's going to be okay. Comfort you. <laughs> and this is why I love my dad. <laughs> and, and as an adult now, as a 35-year-old man, I love my dad for this. Yeah. But at the time, <laughs> I go, Dad, is the hurricane going to come blow our house down? He'd go, well, it might. <laughs> and I... I <laughs> and it's funny now as an adult. It's I, good to have that in your, like, that, you, that I, I realism think, or whatever I, in your I head. I think you know? it's so important to have that, though. You need to have yeah. that balance. And, you know, obviously there's differences. Like now, like, obviously we're going through hardships, you know, as, as parents growing and raising a child where I'm, I'm not saying that anybody else involved in Autumn's life isn't a disciplinarian, but I have no problem saying no. Yeah. Or, hey, sit down. Hey, yeah. don't do that. You know, you're not supposed to do that. I mean, I spoil her rotten, you know, when I can. Mm -hmm. And I play with her. I do all my things. But when she does something she's not supposed to, I have no problem saying, mm, -mm. Yeah. I don't have a problem doing that. I think there's some people else, you know, we're not going to get into that topic. But what I love most about that particular lyric for Thrice is, I keep swinging my hand through a swarm of bees. I can't understand why they're stinging me, but I'll do what I want and I'll do what I please. I'll do it again until I got what I need. Mm. I I can't I can't ever think of a time in my life where I was sad. I was motivated. I, I, I was, was hoping motivated. that you were going to like uh, wrap back up to that because um, I, I'm just motivated. I, yeah. I just I I don't have time. I mean, yeah, I, I don't That's get me wrong. That's sad in itself. You know, like it, I I definitely okay. I can count on these two hands the amount of times I've cried in my entire life, right? Yeah, I'm me not, too. I'm not sure. a cry. I'm not like I'm not either. But we're all. But I wish I could. We're, but we're you all know? human. I mean, it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, th there's definitely. I I watch shows. So I'm like, mm, I almost cried. I listen to a bunch of music. I'm like, mm, oh, dude, me I and Brandy just watched cried. The Whale. Is that good? I almost bawled my ass. <laughs> I had to like, yeah, suck it up, be a man. Like I but get I, it, but I'm, know? but I'm also not afraid to like show emotion. Yeah. But like, I also know that a lot of the times in my life, I've had to be that stronger entity for people. And I, I'm yeah. not going to go into that no, whole. Like, no, we men have to be strong, but it's like, dude, no, because uh, like, we're still I, human. I, I, you know? I, a hundred percent understand where you're coming from because coming from a person who has dealt with. Uh, two miscarriages. You, yeah, you've had it rough, uh, dude. And I, dude, I, I, I couldn't imagine, dude. I, I, but um, I find comfort and supporting. You know that, that that it's like it's definitely a distraction, and it's not the healthiest thing. Because you are a support. Uh, no, and yeah. and you know what? One one. There's one beautiful thing I will say about you as a friend is you are. I remember. I remember when we were literally. <laughs> We had a jackhammer and we're jackhammering concrete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're jackhammering concrete mm -hmm. into the fucking floor of the salon. And I got a phone call that my grandmother had just passed away. Yep. I was just like, I, I, what did I do? I, well, you're just like, well, do you want to go? And I was like, well, I, I, I don't know. I didn't know what to think because yeah. that whole story is a little different because we all knew it was coming eventually and it wasn't like a surprise to, I don't know. Death is a weird thing for a lot of people. And I, I don't know why we're getting so hard. And I'm actually kind of happy about it. A little bit. But it's just, <laughs> I don't know. For some people, like, it's like, for me, it wasn't a shock to me. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, well, okay, I got to go. Mm -hmm. And I remember you trying to comfort, comfort me. I'm a comforter. And yeah. you are. I'm not good you're at not, that. You're not. You didn't. You, you don't receive it well. I, well, I also not, not, not that you're bad at it, but you're. You're. I'm not, I'm not good at giving it. I'm not uh, good at. I'm, I and the same thing with me. Like when I went through my shit, you're like, I did. Let I, me know I, what you need. I at least let you know. Like, hey, yep. 
And honestly, yeah. that's kind of all you need to do. You know, just like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> it's definitely very different for men, I think. <laughs> now, mine's yeah. all, that, all that shit that you see on your fucking For You page on, on TikTok about how men are and all that shit. But it's, I don't know. All I know is that that, that lyric from Thrice hit me so well because <clears throat> I've tried for so many different things in my life and I've achieved them. Yeah. And they didn't last long. But I wasn't sad when it was done. So and I'm curious, then, what, what was the artwork real fast? Because you, you said you were going to get a tattoo. So how would you represent that? It was, as gonna be, it was going to be a glass jar of black honey pouring into a shot glass. I like that. I mean, it yeah. is what it is. It, it's black honey. Yeah. I, it, it, but the lyrics are so good because I've, I think may, may, maybe it's a, a mechanism that I've kind of subconsciously given myself is, well, you don't have time to be sad. You have to do this. You have to achieve this. You have to have something. Yeah. And it's like, I also have no problem shutting people out of my life to achieve something. Obviously now it's different that I'm an adult and I have a family and I have kids. I have a mortgage, you know, obviously, but it's like, I think I've always kept myself so busy with a project. Hobbies are great, dude. Dude, people need hobbies, man. I, dude, that's the most beautiful thing. It, it's not even about whether you win or lose at them either. Just fucking have something to do. Because yeah. if you don't have nothing, all you're going to do is focus on that pain. Yeah. And that's that's real. Yeah. Because I'll tell you what, five minutes alone with nothing to do is the most <laughs> miserable five minutes of my fucking life. Dude, I was like... <laughs> that's, that's the most miserable five minutes of my fucking life. <laughs> so, like I said, like I took my motorcycle on 95 for the first time. I was like, this is the first time I've been on the highway. I'm like... On, like and how happy were you? Being alone in my thoughts um, for like 30, oh, that's terrifying. 30 minutes. <laughs> it can be. It's, but, it's terrifying. Dude, it went oh, so fast. Like it, it, it was kind of nice. But yeah. you had to, but at the same time, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just saying from, if I was on a motorcycle on a night, I'm looking at the people around me. I'm like, you know, control. You're, you're definitely distracted. You're right? distracted you're, you're, for sure. You're, you're paying attention. I mean, it, isn't that what a lot of the shit is? Just a distraction? Not, not, not saying that people. Yeah, it's not, a redirection. Not, it is a redirection, but at the same time, I mean, it, it's good to talk about things that are wrong or things that bother you with people that people are aware. Because obviously, I mean, I've had friends that have been in the military that have killed themselves, and if yeah. they had just called me, it's like, man, you, yeah, you can't. Do I would have made a, I would have made, I would have made a fart joke and maybe made you laugh, and I don't know. It's so I, I don't blame myself or anything like that, but it's yeah. like. I just feel like I don't have time to be upset with things. It's like, no, I got to do it. I got to mm -hmm. do things. I have to fit it in. Yeah. And no matter what's going on with my personal emotions or anything like that, it's like, no. Nope. And I think, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to be that guy that can't retire. Yeah. <laughs> I got to do something. I got to keep, keep going. I got to keep it. And that's okay. That's okay. Because you know what? It, <laughs> it, well, in, in the long run, having something to focus on has been good because no matter what it is that I set out, and I'm not trying, I don't know if this sounds arrogant, I really don't want it to, but if I have something to focus on, it allows me the free reign to achieve, the, and, and it sounds like a stupid fucking TikTok clip, but I, it's not, it's like, no, when we started doing this podcast, I didn't want to do it. You didn't. I didn't want to do it. And I still have the same feelings, mm -hmm. but it's a thing now and it is what it is. And you sent me a text the other night. You're like, you're still editing? I don't understand. It's like, no, it's going to be better. Like, yeah. I have to do that. And you know what? I've accepted you. It has like, to. Yeah. It, and you know what? It has to be that way. Yeah. Everything I do. I see other people's stuff. I'm like, hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, that's just two videos. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. But I can't. It's it's not that it, anything's never good enough for me, and I'll never like relay it on to anything with anybody else. But for me personally, if my name's on it, it's never going to be good enough. But it's not a bad thing yeah. because it's always going to get better. I think I think you being challenged is also another factor. I have to be because yeah. that keeps me going, man. Absolutely. That that keeps me going, and yeah, you know. And it's at the same time, I also feel like if I'm providing something positive, maybe okay. Well, somebody looks at me and they're like, oh, he keeps working at it. Maybe it may. Autumn, you know, the only thing I'd ever want for her is I want her to be happy. I mean, that's what we all want for our kids. But it's like I don't want her to think like, like you're stuck. You can keep going. You can keep trying. Yeah. You can keep doing it. You know what? It's always going to get better. All you have to do is a little shift, yeah. left or right. 
Yeah. And fucking keep doing it. And now as an adult, when I do that, my kidney hurts or I can't tie my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> or wipe your ass. Mm, so mm. this is thrice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks mm. for... Uh, Thanks for riding with us on that one for a little bit, mm. but um, I'll, I'll, I'll put this part in black and white <laughs> with some like raindrops anyway. in the background. Oh, I can do that. I can totally do that. Anyway, if I can, I'll figure it out. <laughs> don't don't do it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so this song is the first song on uh, Artisan Artist Ambulance, Artist. which, by the way, the photographer that did the photography for the album you can actually go out and explore but they had alternate pictures for the cover interesting it's awesome i didn't know that it's very good dude i've been trying so hard to find this album on vinyl just to have it i would never play it on vinyl but i would just want to have it okay anyway but so if any of our any of our uh, listeners out there have this vinyl or a variant or if you have a local band show us <laughs> anyway so this is thrice cold cash and cold hearts I wasn't in the right part of my life to accept his vocals as being a good vocals for this song. I can, but now I appreciate it a lot more. Man, Dustin Kenster is a force, dude. God, this album is so fucking good. Oh, it's so good. have a little bit of a history tidbit with uh, my very first band in high school about this album. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. So we keep our concerts here at the top of the love most about the structure of this song. Well, all their songs. Okay, so the album before this, Identity Crisis, okay. was the album that really got them kind of popular because they were like that mainstream-esque, but still bridged the gap between like the metalcore. I thought this was the album that really set them over. Though. This is the first mainstream album. I okay. will say that. They, okay. okay, so... Okay, so when all, all that's left was the cover song for this album. Okay. The most main, I'm not going to play the whole song, but that's just so you can hear the song. So this was their cover song for the album. So this you is know, a cover of another band? No, no, no. So, Oh, yeah. Their flagship song for the okay. album, but if you listen to the rest of the album, it's it's very dark, but it's really structure is really good, and that's that's a good thing. But the song that got them really famous, I think, was Deadbolt from Identity Crisis. Deadbolt, dude, that but dude, that fucking lift is yeah. so fucking iconic. So dude. it, and I remember like Thrice was the band that I mean, I talk about like listening to Poison the Well and all that shit, but. When I started, Wait, you mentioned Poison the Well. When? I don't know. I, I was probably under some misery signals, but uh, <laughs> but when I was in high school, uh, when I heard Thrice, okay, 
I was in a band with Nick from the Sacred yeah. and Vic, okay. Victor from the Sacred. Ooh. And that was what? our. Yeah, you didn't know that? I, what were they called? Were, did you guys play anything? Yeah, you guys just we jammed. played like two shows. <laughs> what was your name? Adios Anna. Terrible. I know. But par for the course. Oh, for, you told me that. Yeah. Par, yeah, yeah. par for the course for 2004. But um, so Victor is a very good drummer. And I remember when. So when this band came out, when, when this album came out, that was kind of like my precursor into like that kind of guitar playing. Okay. But um, I remember. Let me see if I can find the song. Did you? Yeah. So they replace. Yeah. Okay. So I remember Victor was a very good drummer. I mean, he's he's literally a teacher of percussion at a college. I mean, he's, why did they replace him with Denny? Victor went to school. I don't know. Gotcha. I don't know. Uh, Denny's is moons over my hammy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I remember hearing this riff. Not the. But listen to the drums. Listen to the drums. Just that little kick. The kick was the fill, yeah. not the snare. And I remember like always thinking, like, oh man, we should use the kick as like like an entrance as mm. an intro into the next part. That's super fun. But but it was just cool. I just remember like hearing that and like going, Oh, that's a cool way to think about it. Cause yeah. I was always a guitar player. Yeah. And I know we talked about it a couple of episodes ago, whatever, about being a drummer and a guitar player, and like I'm not a drummer. You yeah. Know? So but thinking about it like that, but it's hard to even think like that. I, th some people can do it. Yeah. Some people can do it. The guitar player for um, I Am Divide that was with me, Ricky, he was a snare player in the marching band for his okay. high school. So, I mean, the guy could, you know, did a lot of time drums. Signatures. Yeah, time signatures. Yeah. yeah. So it definitely, some people can get it. Yeah. Um, for me, I never focused on drums or anything like that, but I just remember that. I remember hearing those riffs. Th this whole album is fucking fantastic. Yes. So let's get like, away from this a little bit. Yeah. I, no. <laughs> and I, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, for for the listeners, if mm -hmm. you love Thrice, thanks for writing us with Thrice. If you haven't listened to Thrice, I will be that guy and say, "What the fuck are you doing? That's fucking nice. listen to th just, Thrice." Just ain't. I mean, the al but every album because that that was my guitar teacher. Would be like, you need to listen to it. And I, I know it was so down, crazy, down, but, down, but at, like anything after. As a guitar player, anything after this album, yeah, don't listen to. As a guitar player, as a guitar player, gotcha. No, no, okay. Say so, so, identity crisis. Uh, well, I can't remember the other one. I didn't really keep up with them. Anyway, it was that was pre, that, that was pre, but but this but this album alone. But the next one, really good, Alchemy Index. That's a good album it's, too. It is, but it's very synth, very. Droney it's, structures kind of did that a little bit too. Yeah, but but the whole thing. But then when they started, when they came out with um, uh, what is, what is I, I forget the name of the uh, it's the album with Black Honey on it. I feel so bad. Um, because that I, I I say newer, but <clears throat> like now it's not that new. But I remember when that album came out. Of, what Alchemy Index? No, with uh, Black Honey. Oh yeah, it, uh, God damn! I can't believe I forget what album it is. I, I'm such a shitty fan. Hmm. Yeah, you almost got a tattoo, man. What's going on? <laughs> so I'd get a fan of a sentence of a stranger if it made sense to me. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> was it okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna list their albums because they have quite a bit of albums. Yeah, they have they have several. So Artists in the Ambulance came out in 2003. Yep. So they had, uh, before that in 2001 they had Identity mm -hmm, Crisis, mm -hmm. uh, and then 2002 they had Illusion of Safety. Yep. Illusion of Safety. Yep. Um. I can't even pronounce this. Viesu, whatever. Yeah, Viesu was like the, when they started going into like the weird experimental shit. So then they did the Alchemy Index one mm -hmm, and two, mm -hmm. Alchemy Index three and four. Uh, there's a live uh, Beggars. Beggars. That's a. That, I don't know. That if came out in 2009. That's not the album with with Black Honey, but no. that's a good album though. That's uh, a very good album. Major minor and anthology. Um, to be everywhere. That's it. Is to be nowhere. That's that's that that's came out in 2016. One. I remember when that like Black yeah. Honey. Like I was like, that was new. I was like, oh shit, this is thrice. that is because that I is did, a, there, yeah. that gap. Uh, I haven't between, even heard the song, and I'm just thinking about it. And it's 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 such give me chills. Yeah. it's such a good song, man. Yeah. There's another song. I can't remember if it's from Beggars or from To Be Everywhere. It's called Wood and Wire. 
it's about it's about uh he's speaking and he's speaking for a guy that's going to the electric chair. It's such a good fucking song, dude. You know what's funny? <laughs> oh, it's such um, a good fucking song, man. For the listeners and for us later <laughs> after the episode, uh February first this year, uh they revisited it came out with a new album. Revisited Artists in the Ambulance. Yeah, they, I think it's So it, I wonder I, if they just remastered it. I don't know if they remastered it. I don't know but, if they um, remastered it, but um I remember when they were at, at Furnace Fest when they were played, they did the whole twenty year reunion of Illusion of Safety or whatever. Really? It was. Yeah. But that was fun. I didn't go. I, I was too tired. <laughs> but I also knew, like, I, I also was real with myself. I was like, well, I didn't really enjoy that album. So, yeah. I, I know. It, it, it is kind of weird. You know, is. like, when, like, but like I'm I selfish. said it before, like, I love Take It Back Sunday. I'm their selfish. New, their newer stuff, yeah. like, whatever. I'm selfish when it comes to music, man. Like, I want to hear the songs that I want to hear. Yeah. And, and I will never demand it. But like, if you're doing a reunion or if you're doing a celebration anniversary album, like, yeah. and the, none of the songs that I want to hear on that album, like, yeah. oh, I'm not gonna go. It's cool. No, keep doing it. Cool. And if people like it, that's fine. I don't care. Yeah. But like, I want to hear these songs. Yeah. And if you're not gonna play them, I'm not gonna go. Yeah. I think that's probably pretty honest, though. Yeah. I don't care. Anyway, don't you want to hear another song? I would love to hear another song. I want to go home. <laughs> a little right over there. I don't want to go home, but I, I want to play another song. Uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, okay. So I heard this. I heard this band, and I I thought it was pretty good, at least from what I heard. But I didn't listen to it all the way. I wanted to get your honest take on it. It's 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 kind of a newer band. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I hope uh, everyone's having at least one beer while they're listening to this. Or smoking a joint. Something. Wow. Something. Roll one. Smoke one. Well, if oh. Farmer doesn't give me my fucking prescription back, I'm going to go back on weed. Mm. There you go. Mm. Give me something. All right. So this <laughs> band is called Violent Conflict. And uh, this is the cult of black and white. Do you now, want to watch someone else watch it? Their reaction? <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. No, is I don't it, want to. Is it two dudes or? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. This is violent. Conflict. Fuck it. It sucks. I know it's soon. I oh, my God. I mastered the album. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, I hate it, it already. I hate it already. Was it the headstock missing? <laughs> Very basic. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Have you heard of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior? <laughs> Reminds me of structures, actually. Well, hold on. Was, dude, I can't believe they did a corn ripoff on that. It was that. so... <laughs> it, dude, I can't believe how in time it was. <laughs> I can't believe they just ripped off corn, dude. What's the matter? They afraid you go pee-pee and you die. <laughs> die. I feel bad because this is not the band that I wanted to play, but it's playing. Here you go. By the way, if you play a headless guitar, I'm going to kick you in the dick. You look like a fool. So dumb. Is your, is your, your, really music, your music is boring, right? It's boring. Uh, All this shit is boring. This is why we don't do it on the podcast. I can't believe anybody has ever gone from an effect pedal to a breakdown before. 
<laughs> so with the, the headless head stock, is there like function over it or is it just aesthetics? It functions the same. Gotcha. But you definitely have to wire, like you have to like string your... Yeah, like, maybe opposite, but it's... It, uh, garbage. It's meant for fat guys that play on cruise ship cover bands. It's not meant for this band. Okay, so I have to... Hmm. Is hardcore becoming WJR? Mm, it, it, it is, right? It's too mainstream. And we were kind of talking to Wayne about this a little bit. Like, it's it's just, all... Let's just gatekeep this. It's, this it's, just, it's all garbage, dude. Yeah, it's kind of weird, it, man. I'm not... Listen, violent conflict... No, they're, they're sticking to that lane. Whatever. And they're going to ride yeah, it. You're, you're, you're getting your views. But that's it, fine. It's just... You're going to be forgotten, bro. Yeah, it's just going to be another mix, man. It's garbage. Yeah. It sucks. Um... I would oh, love to know who, to like, the song. <laughs> yeah, because it features somebody, uh, and I haven't seen that. Connor, Connor who is who is that? Connor Hickman. Okay. I can look it up. The basketball player. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You just want to talk shit for the last 30 minutes? A little minutes. bit, yeah. <laughs> I'm about, let's talk it. Uh, yeah, about that shit? Goddamn, we're two hours 16, so let's spend the last 15 minutes just talking shit. I'm about it. And then we'll do our roulette. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was violent conflict. That kind of sucked. Yeah, that's... Um, hold on. Very good. Hold on. Oh, oh, my God. I'm so lost right now. So lost without you. So I guess there was a guest vocalist in that band called Connor Hickman, and I guess he's in another. He's in another band called uh, uh, Headwreck, which stupid. These bands suck, bro. What did this band rocks, dude? Okay, so they have a music video as well. Uh, this uh, band, uh, the song's called Shiver. God damn you! <laughs> Fuck you, Eric! God. <laughs> Everything already. I I cannot go to Listen to this crap anymore. Yeah, so okay, so that guy also sucks. So two things. Two things. I hate bands like that <laughs> always portray some kind of like aura to me. And it's that we're so talented. What, what genre is that? Diary. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, 877. Okay, so we want people to see it. Do it bigger here. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna. Come on. Well, does it Oh, there we go. That's cool. There you go. So this is for entertainment purposes. And if those that don't know, Drew made a list of <laughs> almost a thousand bands, and um, a lot of them we don't know. So this is a random feel. Uh, oh, is that a noise? That that sound? Thing? Sounds like every band we let's listen to. What's the fucking number? <laughs> What the fuck is this, you piece of fucking garbage? 
It oh. didn't. Oh my god! It Hold didn't on. give us a number. Very good. Do it again. I hate the world, dude. I fucking hate everything on the planet. Hmm. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? God damn it, Garrett. Do it one more time. <laughs> this is great content. <laughs> no, we're not doing it anymore. No, we're going to go back to the old school. Wow. What Sorry. the fuck? We tried it. Okay, we did test that before. We did. Like, it we didn't work, and it sucked. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, no, I want to. Uh, I want a ran no random number generator. I don't want the fucking wheel. It doesn't work. Uh, what is it? Eight seventy seven. I think that's the number. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Generate. Okay. Six twenty one. Boom. Uh, 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 you know what I hate the most about when I get real with people is like I don't want people to know me. I hate it. It's stupid. Six twenty. I'm not a bad person. <laughs> Just. Picky asshole. <laughs> you passed. Uh, still, oh, breathing. still breathing. Very good. It's Sorry. obviously not Lydia. <laughs> nope. So this band is called Still Breathing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they have 178 monthly listeners on Spotify. Damn, that's that's pretty prominent. Not bad. Okay, still breathing. Um, and their top played song is off of an album, the only album in 2002 called Exhausted. Uh, so there's no song? Nope, that is it. Okay. No, that, that's a song off the album. Oh, exactly. The album's okay. called September. Oh, okay. Well, here it is. I actually need to know that <laughs> for editing purposes. Here we go. Uh, this is with... Oh, you piece of... Eight-string players. Still breathing. Uh, Hold on. Well, you never heard of them? What I love most about this recording already is it's real drums. 2002. Okay. <laughs> Alright, a little new metal, but we'll see what happens. Very um, Chimera. I brought them up before. I wonder if it almost kind of sounds like a female vocal. It could be. It could be. Yeah, I can. I, yeah, I think the pitch, the pitch is about right. They're from Oklahoma. I like to think that it's like a tornado singing in right now. He's <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. This really reminds me of Chimera. Particular riff was so popular at this time. This is new metal as fuck. It's kind of cool. It's not bad though. It's not no. bad at all. It kept it going though. I think it's a, the newer new metal that I don't really care for. I like aspects and songs, but um, it was always good the first time. I think I don't think that makes any sense. No, but you're right. No, it, but it's always I, good the first. To me, I like listening the snare so tight. It's just that I'm, bounce, I'm, you know, I'm such very, a cool I'm, sound. I, I think I'm with you on that. I'm a very much a snare, snare kind of guy, especially when I listen to drums. I, I don't listen to like fills, like really like as far as the, 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 the toms, but kick and snare, like, do you hear that snare, dude? 
because it was recorded in a real studio. <laughs> Is that an A-string snap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's definitely a cool sound for old heads. You know, it's it's an old sound. It's an old sound. I mean, I literally hear cold chamber right now. Chimera, cold chamber, machine head. Machine head was a force too, man, back in the 90s. Oh, they chopped it up right there. That's really that's cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah, there you go. Cool. That's so awesome. That that's band good. was called Still Breathing. And I'm actually the song gonna, was I'm called... I'm actually going to like that because I'm going to listen to the whole album. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something that I feel like you would um, I, I just kind of be down. It's weird because... It's not something that would like get thrown into like a playlist of mine, per se, but um, it's cool. Why is it, why is it playing again? I... Didn't, I I don't understand the world. Yeah, we can't go about too much longer. I don't know. <laughs> what is this? This is this is it. Might as well put it out there. You play it. This is Skin Lab. This is a a Mexican. Or his, I'm sorry. Dude, this is so fucking old, dude. I was not even 10 years old when this came out. Oh, that's cool lyrics, though. I mean, not far off from Avery. It's good stuff. I'm just feeling nostalgic. Nostalgic. But how different, how far off is it when we No, I don't, like, I, I I'm just trying to relate to it, that's all. Right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I definitely think this this era of um, metal got me like to love that whole like headbanging kind of uh, just like rocking head. Yeah. Kind of missed. I kind of missed a lot of music. You know, growing up. That's why I, I, I think like, I missed a lot of people growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think that might have been a trade-off. Like, I was obsessed with music when I was a kid. Like, I didn't, I didn't have any friends. Like, yeah. Like, I would go home and just, like... You gotta know your enemy. 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 Question positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, real answer. Let's go. We're not listening to this anymore. No. We're using so, it. not like a nostalgic thing. Mm -hmm. if that band was a brand new band, came out today. Right? Like, it wasn't like, oh, they're playing, Skin Love's playing, or whatever. It's like a brand new band came out today. It, it sounded, I know you sounded would, just like that. Sounded just like that. I think I'd have an appreciation for them because they're not doing. No, no, no that's not what I'm asking. Oh. I'm not asking if you would like them. Would it do well? No. 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 Okay. Of course not. It's just the way of the world, man. Yeah. That's the way That's the way of the world. I mean, that's just the way anything works. I mean, rappers used to have to know the alphabet. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> they, I don't know. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, it, and you're, you're not wrong. I mean, no, but I mean, time adjusts. And now, like, it's just like we always say, it's like, oh, the old sound's coming back. Yeah, the resurgence. Because people are bored. They got bored with this shit. And then all the people that had older brothers or 
you know, parents that listen to this shit, they, they listen to that. They it all comes in waves in some way or another. Absolutely. There's I like, mean that's the why surgeons is always really fun. Blues is gonna die. Eventually. Yeah, I think so. It's blues is gonna die, man. And that's gonna be a sad day. Uh not that I like really get into it's blues. It's gonna be a blue day. It's good. Um <laughs> I hope you all have enjoyed this episode of HMHD <laughs> podcast. Yeah. It's gonna be a blue day. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about nothing. If you have any local bands from your town, yeah, dude. Seriously, send please send us. I would no. I, I will say this before I play the uh, outro, dude. It is so cool that we had a listener that's been following us Thanks, for, for a while, and man. That's cool. And I don't, it's just one person, but you know what? That's cool to me. And Bill, too. Thanks, Bill, for. Yeah, I, know, that. Yeah. I love Bill. I haven't seen Bill in a minute. No. But man, that's, that's just a cool thing. Just if you got some shit you want us to listen to or you think might be cool, just send it. Absolutely. We'll listen to it. And you know what? We'll give it an honest fucking listen. Sorry I got emotional at the end, but hey, I'm, I'm just me, man. I can't be real. I'm just one good dude. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. <laughs> at no point in your rambling, incoherent response will you even close to anything <laughs> that could be considered. <laughs> Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points. If you don't have the training, it ain't gonna work. You're gonna flop. No one's gonna come over. No one's gonna show up. You know, it's just things are gonna happen.